Welcome back, team. It is your biggest fan, the real Casadero, and we for that's a half. We brought the ship up to transmission depth so we can broadcast our pirate signal across the internet, team. It is October, October 6, 2019. This is episode number, I, I don't even remember. I don't label the shows like that. I think it's uh, episode 11, broadcast 12, team. Nice to have you guys here. In this episode, we're talking about um, there's this interview I watched yesterday. Uh, with between Chris Doe and Unmesh, I can't re- I can't remember his last name. I just know his last name is Unmesh. Let me go. I'm gonna go look this up, team. Let me bring up the chat. So as you guys roll in, just hey, spit out some names, where you're from, what you're up to, what you're doing, how you found the show, um, and then any questions you have about anything, team, right? Related to coding, marketing, selling, business, creating, how to get started. If you're stuck on something, team, let us know. Spit it out in the chat. Put some cool emojis around it so it stands out to people, team. This is the only, the only daily show that I'm aware aware of. And the goal here is to make it the number one daily show for coders, creators, artists, and entrepreneurs. These are the people that I believe are going to power the future, team. I am here to free your mind so you don't spend your time, spend your energy, spend your money in tutorial purgatory team so you actually go out here and you build stuff and you create stuff and you make the world you want to live in instead of trying to go work at some sort of tech company somewhere team so check it out check it out let me i'm gonna roll out to the internet see if i could grab this info team as you roll in just let me know i know a lot of people come in and you guys are like real quiet man it's cool just say what's up what's up i'm coming from you know where you from what you do if you got a website, you can post that too. I don't know if it'll show up in the in the in the chat. But um What is good, Nathaniel Daniel, man? What is good, team? This morning. This morning we we're talking about how to how to get so good they can't ignore you, team. And this is all this is all because of a uh, an interview I watched yesterday with a couple of people who I really respect, team. Um one of them is Chris Doe. And the other one is I forgot it. I don't know his last name. Unmesh. I'm I'm on the I'm over here. Let me pull this stuff up, man. Pull this stuff up. Cause this is some fire information, man. I'm always coming across gems like this. So that's what the show's gonna be. That's what the show's gonna be primarily about, man. Getting people motivated, inspired, and and pushing them towards some sort of action team. How to get so good you can't be ignored. So good you can't be ignored. Now, in the beginning, you will be ignored. All right? Some of us don't think that's the case. but we, And we got soft skin because our parents jacked us all up and we, we let society get to us. Right? We get a trophy for everything we do. We get grades for everything we do. We go through school all the way up through high school. Some people even into college. And you go out into the real world, man, and this is completely different. The first time you get rejected, it's like, oh, man, it hurts. It stings. It burns. And you do it again, and again. Some people they never bounce back, man. Right? Just it just takes one good defeat to to knock you off kilter, and now you now you're wondering what's the meaning of life, what is existence all about? You can't you can't get back to where you were, team. So that's what we're talking about this morning. How to how to avoid that? How to overcome that? If you if if you're there, if somebody's out here. And you've at the, you're at that place where you've been rejected. You've got the no. You didn't get the job. You didn't get into the school. You didn't get hired. Maybe you feel like an imposter. Maybe you got the job. Maybe you're working at the place where you feel like you shouldn't be there. Like, hey, why did these guys hire me? I don't I don't quite understand. That's what today's show is about. So drop a comment in the chat. I'm going to go out to the YouTube, grab us some tunes, team. And then I'm going to pick, I'm going to find this information. Do, 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 do. I thought I had some notes on it, but I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't. And actually, here, I'm going to bring up the desktop so you guys can see what's going down, team. No secrets over here. I mean, there's some secrets. I don't want you, you guys can't see everything, man. You would be, be looking at all my stuff. But, uh, this should be cool, right? So we're over on the desktop. And what I'm, and the reason why I bring this up is because sometimes I have, like, keyboard shortcuts and stuff I'm using that, that people might be interested in. Like, I think this one might work. I'm not sure. But if we, if we hold the control key and click history it'll open another tab a team so that's one of that's one of the other tricks i don't know what's behind this history tab so hold on 
Hold on. Let's see what we got in this history. I might have been watch I might have been watching some uh some top secret footage from uh from Nick from Nikolai Tesla or uh or or these days Terrence Howard, man. I don't know if you guys have heard about Terrence Howard, but that, in, I think this dude is a genius. I I believe we are in an awakening team. For those of you who are spiritual, if you are a spiritual being, we are in an awakening. There's a lot of people out here doing some stuff that people just think are weird, but at the same time, right, there is a lot of, uh, what do they call it? What do they call it out here? A lot of, um, somebody knows the word. Somebody's got to tell me. When you when you say one thing and you do another, I, I, I can't remember the term. All right, so let's roll back over here to the... Uh, Hey, and just, hey, let me know what's that? What's that? What's that thing when you do when you say one thing and then you do another? I can't I can't remember, team. I can't I can't remember. So for those of you who are just rolling in again, hey, drop your name in the chat, team. Today we're talking about how to get so good you can't be ignored, team. This is based on an interview I watched yesterday with with Unmesh and Chris Doe. And so to give you guys some perspective, Unmesh has a YouTube channel of 1.6 million viewers. Chris Doe has a YouTube channel of, it's like just above 600,000, I think. And these, Chris Doe started his YouTube channel after me. So there's something, there's something to be learned there, right? Um, and a lot of people think it's just the algorithm. Hey, man, I got to game the algorithm. And it's not, it's not that, team. It's not that at all. All right, so let's get back to the desktop, show you guys what's going on. And as you come in, just tell us who you are, where you're from, what you do, team. We're going to get this underway. What is that noise? See, I knew it. I knew it. When I turn it off, when I turn off the ringer, uh, nobody calls. And then when I forget to turn it off, everybody calls. That's how it works. That's how it works, see? All right, so let me scroll down some more. It's in here somewhere, man. Man, I consume a lot of content, man, about all kinds of stuff. I don't be watching all of these videos, like, all the way through. Some of them are just too long. Some of them I watch at 2x speed. So I can, because I want the knowledge, but I don't have the time to be sitting around for 20 minutes. And so I know some of you are watching me scroll through this. Yep, I'm a Ralph Smart fan. I I found Ralph. I I ran. I came across Ralph Smart. For those of you who don't, and Ralph Smart is like he's like a, a spiritual dude, man. And um, I came across Ralph Smart like I don't know a year, two years ago, something like that. He didn't have a lot of YouTube subscribers. Now he's got uh he's got well this video right here, 4.1 million views. He's got like he's got over a million YouTube subscribers. And I talked about this in a pre. I talked about Ralph Smart in a previous Ooh. episode. Woo! Feels so good to be alive, baby. Hey, hey, hey! Chris Doe is the shizzle. He is, man. Chris Doe is, bro. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, bro. All these people I found a long time ago, dog. A long time ago. Let's go down. Chris Doe is the stuff. So for those of you, Unmesh. That's it, right there. How Unmesh Dinda got 1.5 million subscribers on YouTube. All right. And so, we're going to go. We're going to grab this. Copy. Oh, man. I clicked it. I clicked it, team. I clicked it. Let's try to be slick. All right. So, this is Chris, this is Chris Doe. And then Unmesh. Control C. This is Chris Doe, and let's see if I can get them both together without, like, blowing your eardrums out with a bunch of sound or something. Let's see, put this on mute, play. And I gotta, I gotta be slick, man, because I don't want Chris giving me no, get, no copyright claims. I don't think he would, but somebody on his team might. I don't know. All right, but anyway, we're gonna control C, and we're gonna roll back over to, uh, oh, I got my live streaming gallery up top, team. My live streaming gallery up top. So for those of you who are just coming in, team, in this episode, we're talking about how to get so good you can't be ignored. How this guy, Unamesh, went from zero to 1.5 million subscribers in Mumbai, India, team. 
Check it. He is in India, in Mumbai. And then we've got Chris Doe. Chris Doe, zero to over... So what, see, he's got the future right here. Zero to over 600,000. It's 600,012 subscribers on YouTube, team. And I, if, if, if I just take my numbers and, and, and scale them up to, what, to where Chris Doe is, which is less than Unmesh, if, if I were to get the same ad revenue, I'd be making a lot of money, team. A lot of money in ad revenue. A lot of money in ad. Now, things change at this scale. Which not a lot of people talk about, because you're not gonna get as many ads if you got. I mean, look at the subscribers don't subscriber count doesn't matter, but it correlates loosely to your view count, and so as you get more, well, you know what? The same ads may play over and over again, but if again, if you got more people watching your your content, this means you're you're um. This means that you are are producing more ads. I mean, now you're producing more ads. More people watch your content. So this means that that whoever's advertising on your content, they're 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 getting they should be getting more visitors, but also they may be paying more money for clicks. And so over so you may not get the same sort of uh ROI per thousand videos that you normally would when you get when you get up to these heights. But you make you make some decent money team. And it takes it takes these kind of numbers to make to make some money. You gotta be like you know, unless you're selling other stuff, like you got a course or you got like an online store or something like that. But anyway, team, anyway, team, uh, and and who Neil Floyd says Chris has another channel. I'm sure he does. I'm sure he does, team. Uh, let's go YouTube, and we'll go uh, Chris Doe. Chris, Chris, Chris Doe. All right, all right, all right, all right. Well, if he, well, hold on. If he's, because he's on, he's on Twitter too. Windows, TWI, TWI. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I got some messages on hell. A lot of new activity. Chris. Chris Doe. And for those of you who can't see, I'm just looking up some information team. This morning we're talking about uh, Chris Doe. Chris Doe. We're not talking about them, but they gave us some good advice. Chris Doe and Unmesh. Santa Monica tap link. Okay, maybe. Uh, it doesn't matter, man. The future is good enough. All you are you gonna find here is Chris Doe and his and his crew, his posse of people. Um, if there's a if somebody knows of another channel, hey yo, hey yo, it's a, the Future Academy. Eh, let's see. So we're going to duplicate, right-click, duplicate tab, and this is going to open another YouTube window, and we can go the future academy. All right, there we go. All right, so, <clears throat> so this channel, 72,000 subscribers. So Chris has two channels. All right, he's got, he's got the future, 612,000 subscribers, and he's got, uh, and he's got, the Future Academy. And then let's find Unmesh's channel, right? So this is Ralph Smart. <laughs> and we got, over here we got, uh, um, I was on his channel yesterday. So dig it, right? Um, for those of you who are Photoshop fans, like if we go here, let's go to YouTube. And if you look for like 20 new, I think he, he, he just did a video yesterday. What's new in Photoshop with Unmesh Dinda? All right, so he's, so he's on an interview with somebody else in this one right here. But he just did a video where he has like um so right now they're they're at the Adobe Adobe Creative World. I think it's I don't know exactly where it is. There's two a year, so they say. Um but he's there right now, so he's at Adobe Creative World. He just did this interview, but he released a video too, like not too long ago. So let's see if we can find this channel. And that'll be let's see, Unmesh Dinda. Unmesh. Control tab. Unmesh. D. Ah, oh, man. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Unmesh. There we go. That's it. Pick. Pick some perfect. Pick some perfect, team. So, pick some perfect. He produces. All he produces is, um. It's Photoshop tutorials. As far as I know, that's all I've seen. 
And so I'm subscribed to his channel. I wasn't always subscribed, but whenever I'd be looking for like Photoshop stuff, like he would pop up. And he's always showing us like the new hotness. So right here, top 20 new features and update and updates explained. 1.53 million views, right? And then down here we got his last video, most recent video, two days ago, 192,000 views. Uh, a week ago, 59,000 views. Two weeks, 49,000 views. Two weeks, 77,000 views. Three weeks, 67,000 views. I mean, this guy's on it. He's on fire, team. And how these got, how he did it, right? They asked him a question. That how'd you do this? What would you recommend? And he said, he said, this is what I did. I produce content every day. He said I made a video a video a day every day. And his goal, he was like, I'm going to make a hundred. First, first, first he had a vision. He had a goal, right? And he talks about the same stuff I talk about. It's uncanny. It's uncanny, team. Um, and so here, let me grab this interview for you guys. Boom, 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 boom. Uncanny. Control C. And look, I'm going to drop this right in the chat. At the risk of everybody disappearing to go watch this. All right, so, so he says, um, I don't even know where he got the idea to do Photoshop tutorials, <laughs> but he said he he said he's taught other stuff in the past. Like he said he taught HTML, and he doesn't he doesn't even like the code. He said he's taught all kinds of stuff, and he realized that his gift was being a teacher. And he he breaks this down very well in this video that he does with Chris. Um, and, and to give you a little more context about, so he, he's got a YouTube channel, Unmesh, this guy right here, of uh, 1.5 million subscribers. And Chris Doe has a channel of 612,000 subscribers. But, but so, so you guys know, Chris Doe did like, um, he did, he's done the, he's done, I think it's a Halo campaign. So here, look, we can do this. The name of his company is called Blind. It, it may be Blind Design. Blind strategy, yeah, blind strategies of design consultancy. And they used to be a consulting agency, right? They used to be a media shop. Like people would come to them and they'd be like, yo, we want to make something. Can you help us make it? Right? And so they would do graphic design. Before that, they did a lot of motion design stuff. So Chris Doe, until until I found him on YouTube, he was like, he was one of these dudes that was out here. You saw his stuff everywhere, but you didn't know who, I mean, Unless you were in that circle, you didn't know who he was. Like, you could be a developer, and you could be looking at his stuff all day, every day, and not even know, like, who created it. And um, so, as you can see, he's got, some, he's got some Xbox stuff he did in 2017. I mean, this guy's just... And he's done, like, probably thousands of commercials over the years. He's been in business, like, 20 years or something like that. And Chris will tell you, like, yo, man, it takes a long time to get, to get noticed. And he'll also tell you, like, the, the, the one reason people don't make it, right... Or they don't get what they want is because it's because they don't put themselves out there. They don't pro they don't produce enough work, and that's what Umesh talks about. So Chris says, "Hey, hey, Umesh, how did you do it, man?" And he's like, "Hey, look, right. So I I realized that I had a gift for teaching, right? I had a skill of Photoshop, and he said, and it just he says it's not it wasn't like it wasn't a, it's not a prolific skill." Sam, Sam, what is up, team? Welcome back. Nice to have you back, team. John Parks, welcome. Welcome to the channel, team. Thank you for saying something. Hey, for those of you who are all just coming in, shout it out. Who you are, where you're from, team. Tell everybody good morning. We are here to get motivated, inspired, pumped up, get you going on the way, on your day, to give you information you can use to get ahead instead of all this bs and nonsense that you're going to catch out here in the news in the media where these guys are talking about this nonsense man this is how to get it how to get to the bag in 2020 we are on a mission we're on a mission to get to the bag team the bag all right and so we're talking about uh we're talking about two pretty prolific characters here right we're talking about chris doe who's done all kinds of design work for all kinds of companies they've done I think this is uh what is this right here team ideal pixel threading there was something else let's see maybe we got to go back in here into work all right so here we go featured case studies all projects boom so like he's got tons of stuff over here xbox game pass xbox right a few websites this looks like axe right here no anime expo right and so they've done a lot of work he's taught a lot of people right xbox one 
right? Did the marketing stuff for that, some of the artwork for that. Um, I have one of the, I have one of these right up here, team. Um, and so just all kinds of cool stuff, man. And then like he has a ton of uh, like awesome content on YouTube. And then we got Unmesh, who teach you almost anything you want to know about Photoshop. Like he's got tons of I don't know how many videos he's got, but he's got a lot of them. And let's check this out. If we go up in here, we go to videos, and we do a uh, sort by sort by, and we go date added. I think date added sort by date added. Oh. Sort by date added oldest. This should show us the oldest videos. And I don't know how long he's been on here, right? And so right here it's saying like, hey, his first video happened three years ago. First video went down three years ago. One of the questions I get a lot, they're like, hey, Cass, man, how long does it take to learn how to code? How long does it take to, to start a business? How long does it take to get a client? How long? Everybody asks how long it takes. It takes three years, team. At least. At least. Bare minimum. Bare minimum. Eight hours a day of work for three years and you can be a success too that's how long it takes and here's the deal right this is what this whole shit this is what this whole broadcast is about right now is like what do you do what do you do in those in those three years in those eight hours a day team you make stuff you make stuff hey struggler welcome back team nice to see you here team we are talking about how to get the bag secure the bag get anything you want 2020 2021 2022 2023 Right, and I'm not just blowing smoke, team. I've experienced this. I've been through. I've experienced it multiple times in my life, man. It's like I have, I have, I have died and been resurrected multiple times. Multiple times. Now, I haven't had it as bad as some. You talk about Steve Harvey, man. This dude was living in his car for like three years, and then, and then he, <laughs> bro. Like, I mean, like some people got some stories, man. I've, I haven't been all the way down to that bottom, but I've come pretty close, team. Come pretty close. Let's take a look at this chat. Get this chat up in here, team. So, so we're talking about how to get it, how to secure the bag. So Chris, Chris Doe, right? Pretty, pretty dope designer who's made all kinds of stuff. Huge companies. A lot of us have seen his work all over the places, all over the place, team. Right? And and Chris, right? Like, dude, I'm telling you, man, we ain't doing. He ain't doing nothing no no more special than us. But they got the secret, right? And here's the. Here's the secret. Chris asks, Chris said, Unmesh. This is Unmesh, man. Out here crushing it, right? He's a Photoshop master. Unmesh should tell you, man, I'm not. He'll tell you, he'll tell you, I am not a Photoshop master. I don't know Photoshop. To, and it's weird. Like, it's contradictory. Because you look at the videos and you're like, bro, this guy's a Photoshop. He's like, dude, I don't know Photoshop that well. But I have a gift for teaching. So, and I have a skill for Photoshop. And you got to have a little bit of passion too, man. Right, like he likes Photoshop, obviously. He likes manipulating images, obviously. But he got a guy, 1.53 million subscribers, teaching people all around the world Photoshop, and not simple stuff, man. Like you could be a brand new beginner and roll over to his channel and just and use one of these effects. Like people think you'd be doing this stuff for years, bro. But Umesh should tell you, like, hey, what you got to do is you got to show up every day. Right, every single. He won't tell you to show up every single day. I apologize, team. He's not going to tell you that. He's going to tell you to be consistent. He's going to tell you to consistently produce new stuff on a regular basis. And over time, like we all know this, man, over time, you just get better. You just get better. It's like walking, right? You you, you try, you fall down, you try, you fall down, you try. You know, you take some steps, fall down, and eventually you're walking, right? We don't really care about how long it takes. We never stop to ask a question. Some people ask how long it takes, and it's like, yo, you're like, it's going to be like three years, ten years, however long. And they never start. Right? They get, they're like, oh, well, I could do this in half the time doing something else. You know what I'm saying? And maybe you can. But what I've found, what I've found is what Unmesh said, and I talk about this I've, in every episode. Some of you guys can attest to this, right? Is there is a gift. We all have a gift. He says, hey, my gift is teaching. Like me, my gift is speaking. And in order to know what your gift is, you have to know who you are. And it's hard, right? Like, it's a hard thing. Some people have to go completely broke. Like, I, that's me. I had to go completely broke to realize, like, hey, man, this is the gift. This is the thing that's always pulled you back, right? And and that's, that's what you got to focus on. And then you need a purpose, right? Like, something bigger than yourself. Like, something you're trying to accomplish. Like, I got a few goals, team. And check it. I keep paper on deck. Paper is everywhere everywhere in case i gotta write down the idea i gotta write down some goals i gotta write down whatever team 
right? There's always some paper around, always some paper, always a pen. The whiteboard is always there. A lot of ideas come out. They get written down, team. And it's not, it's not like... It's not like I'm going to go back and I'm going to read this stuff over and over again. Like I'm going to take all these massive prolific notes and then just spend my time, you know, combing over these notes. What happens is when you start writing stuff, man, something happens with your brain. It happens with your brain. And this is probably why I'm so fascinated with programming because there's programming is all about moving data around. Web development, moving data around. Music, right, moving, moving. It's all data. It's all data. We're just moving data in different kinds of ways, team. That's it. That's it. And we think about it differently, right? Uh, data in a computer is just data. We can't see it until it's displayed on the screen. But we can give data the same attributes and, and what do we call them? We, what do we call them? Same functions and attributes as we would give any other thing in this, wor in this 3D world, right? right? Everything has a function and an attribute. And so that, that's why, like I, I'm telling you, team, all this stuff is interconnected. If you're here watching this today, right, there's a message. There's a message that you're supposed to be receiving. Right? Every, <laughs> some people come here every day because they're like, yo, I got to get the message. I'm trying to find my gift, and I heard my gift is the present. So they come every day to get that present, team. And I'm here to bring it to you, man. This is what the universe has told me to do. We've hit the magic number 13. We've hit the magic number 13, team. That is fire. All right. So we got Casey. Hello, team. What is up? Welcome back. Hey, if you're up in here, team, give us the shout out. Say, tell us who you are, where you're from. A Struggler is in Morocco. So he says, I don't know for sure. I have not checked his IP address, but I believe the guy. What reason does he have to lie about being in Morocco, team? Wayne Wallace. Wayne Wallace, my main man. Wayne Wallace, huge supporter of the channel. I think, I think Wayne Wallace has been on every live broadcast that I've done since I started doing these daily live broadcasts, team. And we're out here getting it, team. We're doing the same thing we're talking about in this case, right? We've been on, we've been on live every every day, Monday through Friday, not Saturday and Sunday, uh, for I think the last three weeks or something like that. It's been it's been a, it's been a couple minutes, team. But we're here talking about how to get that bag, how to become so good you can't be ignored. Unmesh, 1.5 million subscribers on YouTube, 1.53 million. He did it in just under three years. Right. Well, he probably did it in two years. Like I, cause I haven't watched all of his, uh, all of his stuff. Casey is from Washington, Washington State. I assume, man. Where at, bro? I'm in Washington. I am in the Tacoma area, broadcasting live from the Pacific Northwest team, live from the Pacific Northwest. And it is 8:26 a.m. At Wayne Wallace, Arizona. Nice and warm in Arizona, team. I like you guys. Thank you guys for participating, team. Thank you guys for participating in this conversation, right? We know you want to get it. You're out here. Yeah, hey, hey, man. I thought Wayne Wallace was like, I thought Wayne Wallace was like an expert developer, man. But Wayne, Wayne, I don't know if Wayne's going back to the basics. I think he is, man. I think I think Wayne knows a lot of stuff. Wayne being here as answer questions and everything, man. A lot of smart people up in here. So if you guys got questions about anything, right, you need to hey just spit it out. No question is a dumb question. Here's the deal, right? People don't get what they want because not enough people know who they are. Also, people don't get what they want because they don't ask enough questions. They don't ask it. They don't ask enough good questions, right? But most importantly, they don't ask enough bad questions. You just got to be asking some questions. You just got to be out here, team. You got to be out here. And so, we got this guy Unmesh, Mumbai, India. He's in India. In Mumbai and He's got friends and family. He's got people around him. And, and he's saying, like, hey, man, I'm going to do this thing. And um, and some people are like, yo, man, that's not going to work. You're in India. You're Indian. <laughs> You're not, right? Like, how, how are you going to pull this off? And he was like, hey, man, I think I can do this, right? I got this, I got this gift. I got this gift that I got. And that gift is the ability to teach and I have this skill set. I'm able to use Photoshop. So I'm going to go teach people how to use Photoshop. And I'm going to make tutorials. And he said, I'm going to make 100 videos, and then I'll judge. And he was like, I'm going to release, uh, I don't know if he started out with the idea of doing it every day or every three days or whatever, team. But those were the two numbers that he kept going back and forth between in the interview. So I think it was three videos a week. And he, well, it, and at one point, he said, he talked about how what he was doing when he first got started. He said he would record enough videos to release a video every day. 
and he would do them all in one day. So he record like five videos in a day, and then he would, he said he would edit them throughout the week. And so, yeah, that was when he was doing like the three videos, because he, he said I would edit the videos throughout the week, and then I would just release them. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, or, or, or how, however it goes, team. But that's how he was doing. He's doing a video. Maybe it didn't even fall like that. It's just a video every three days. And he would release them at the same time every day. And I don't know when he came, he came across that data. But he would release the videos every day at um, 8.30 p.m. is when he would release them. Because he says that's like peak time for his subscribers. Eventually, he got to doing videos every day. So he's imagine he's doing like a Photoshop tutorial every day. And he was like, yo, it was easier when I had more ideas, like way back when. But as you go on and on and on, like you think you're running out of ideas and you are. But you've been doing this stuff so much that you can't remember like what you've already done and what you didn't do. And you think about going back to look at like your previous stuff. You're like, ah, man, I don't want to go back and look at all this stuff. Right? It's, 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 it's so much data. It's so many hours of video that you're just like, ah, man, this is a lot of stuff. It's a lot of stuff. And I don't know how many videos he's got, but he's got a lot, man. Imagine every day for three years. It's a lot of videos, man. It's over a thousand videos, right? And so that's the path. That's the path we're on, team. And Chris, Chris, and so here's the deal. Chris Doe been in business way longer than Umesh. Chris Doe's like 40. Umesh is, uh, Umesh is 23, man. 23. 1.3, 1.53, 1.53 million subscribers. And, and the number of subscribers doesn't even matter. Like, it's a cool number to have. It's how you get a, it's how you get an award. So you guys need to share this video with all of your friends and family across all of your social media team. So we, and, and look, hey, I don't just want people to subscribe, right? We are building a community of people who, who are going to get out here and they're going to crush it, right? They're going to take us into the 21st century, the age of Aquarius. They're going to show us a new way of doing business. They're going to show us a new way of creating, right? And they're going to, we're going to have stories of people just like me and you. We are, we're already getting them, right? We got Umeshes, we got Chris Doe's, right? You know what I'm saying? You got myself, right? In the dev community, you got Brad Traversy. Right, you've got. I mean, there's all kinds of people out here, team, who are just like, hey, man, there's a different way to do this. There's a different way to do this, team. And some of us were afraid to sell ourselves, man. We're afraid to say, hey, look, guys, if you go over to rightcodedrinkcoffee.com, you can get a hat just like this. You can buy this hat, right? You can buy this hat, team. Okay. And if you want a special edition one, email me. You can email me at the real castle here. I'll put my Haha, <laughs> the real Casadero. At and some people don't like it when you when you when you pitch your stuff, man. Hey, look, I got it. I understand. But the only way anybody gets ahead is by is by other people knowing who you are. That is that's it, right? And and you get known by showing up as much as you possibly can, team. That's it. Like even with clients, even even when you're trying to get clients, man. It's the same thing. You just got to show up. You gotta, hey, call them every day. Show up at their business every day, right, until they tell you no, right? No, it's got to be a no. It's got to be a definitive no, no. Or they call the police. You don't want to go to jail, right? You know what I'm saying? But if somebody calls the police on you before, before they're willing to tell you, like, no, I'm not interested in what you're selling, right? If they go, oh, well, maybe, oh, well, maybe, oh, well, maybe, oh, well, maybe, and then they call the police on you because you show up too much, right? You don't want to do business with them people in the first place. Thank, thank God that they did not hire you because they would have been a nightmare. They would have been the worst thing that's ever happened to you, your mental state, your physical being, your life purpose, everything, right? So thank God that those people did not hire you to do anything for them because they will be a pain in your neck. Casey says, you know where Hood River, where Hood River is at in, oh yeah, I know where the Hood River is, bro. It's right by Mount Hood. Anyway, I'm right across the Columbia River on the Washington side near Gold. Bro, this guy lives in a fairy tale, man. He's living, he's living a straight up Pacific Northwest life, man. Like living in Washington. I go, I go around Washington, man. And, and that man, I've been to a lot of places, done a lot of stuff. And what's super cool is like, here, the way we de the way we design stuff, the way we, at least in Western Washington, 
like up it up and up and down the the west coast right the way we design design the buildings build the houses like there's like this there's like this, there's these design elements that just, they, they scream Native American and water. Native American, water, and nature. So when you, when you're in Washington, you know it, like you can feel it. And he's living right in this area where like the forest meets the water and then you got two states that come together, man. Everything is super green. It's got to be like, I don't, I mean, I don't know what neighborhood he lives in. There's hoods everywhere. My man could be living in a straight up hood, but outside of that hood is a, is a is a paradise man and it reminds me of like game of thrones how like you had the veil and in the veil it was like you know it looked one way and then you go to king's landing and it looks another way and you go over you got you got the guys who live in the, the it live in the water they got what is it the iron the iron born and so you got like all these different places with all these different cultures and each place is distinct that's how washington is man like a lot of like there's a lot of different colors and cultures of people here because this is America and that's how we get down, team, right? But but we all have a common culture here in the Pacific Northwest and I think that's super cool. I'm not even from here, man. I came here in like 2015. I'm from I'm from the city, Chicago. Chicago. No, I didn't come here in 2015. I came here in 04, 2004 is when I came here. I was in the army. But anyway, team, that's enough about that. But there's this there's this very specific culture here. Um which is, which I think is super cool, man. So shout out. Thanks for telling us where you are, Casey. Super dope, man. John Parks, Arizona. Hey, look, somebody else is in Arizona. Who was it? Uh, I think Wayne Wallace. Is it, was it Wayne Wallace? Yep, Wayne Wallace in Arizona. Two people in AZ. Two developers in AZ. Two people who are going to get out here and get it in 2020, team. Going to get that bag, secure that bag. Going to get that success. Get that job they're looking for. Start that business. Whatever it is, team. All right? And I'm here to tell you, anybody can do it. But it's not easy. It's not easy, and um, and and if it's if it if it's not on your path, if it's not a part of your purpose, bro, it's gonna be extremely painful. It's gonna be it's gonna be more hard than it should be, and that's why you gotta figure out what your gift is. And so Umash is like, hey man, I got this gift, right? And then he said, hey, a hundred videos, that's what it's gonna be. And he said, I'm gonna show up every day, every uh, uh, hey three three times a week. There's a video going up. And that's what it's going to be. And he set out to do it. And that's a lot of videos, man. A hundred videos. A hundred. Vi that's a lot of videos. Like, that's no that's no joke. Right. Like, if you do a video a day, you're talking you're talking every single day. Producing some content for someone for free for free in hopes that in the future is going to pay off. A hundred days, man. That's a third of a year. But we got the pre president gets in the office to talk about the first hundred days. The first hundred days. You can do you get a hundred days is not a long time. But if you if you if you're focused every day, it can be, bro, like it can be a, a massive amount of time. So it depends on who you are. Like for some people they look at a hundred days, they're like, yo, a hundred days is more than enough. Right? If I go sixteen hours a day for a hundred days, man, I'm killing it. Hundred days, two videos a day. Some people are like, 100 days, three videos a day. You do 300 videos in 100 days. It's like that's just over three months. You know what I'm saying? But the point is, is it not, it's not just the videos, right? Because Chris, Chris was like, and it, it, it could be anything. It could be anything, man. Drawing, art, music, music. You want to be a singer? Sing 100, sing, sing, sing one song a day into a camera and put it online. You want to be an artist? You want to draw? Draw one picture a day. Put it on the internet. There's a guy. He did like a a poster a day. Adobe flew him out to um to give a class free. Unmesh free. There for free. Right. I don't know. Chris probably there for free. Chris is a pretty prolific dude, man. He's been using Photoshop for years. I tried to get away from Photoshop. I'm like, yo, man, you guys are charging me too much money, bro. But there's nothing out there that's better. I can't find anything that's... Some people are going to argue and be like, yeah, yeah, Cass, there's all kinds of better stuff. All right? But you got to go learn that stuff, man. All right? I know Photoshop. I know like the back of my hand, bro. I know stuff in Photoshop that I never thought I would understand. It's crazy. I remember like... Because there's all kinds of tools, man. There's tools for color adjustments and, and, and all... Man, all kinds of stuff. It's just a confusing program. There's a lot of menus and a lot of buttons takes you a long time to learn those menus and those buttons but again photoshop is just a tool man like you just can't some people think 
Like, yo, I'm going to be the dopest artist ever. I got to have Photoshop. You go get your Photoshop? Nah, man. Nah, 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 nah. There's people out here doing dope stuff with GIMP. Those of you who don't know, like, all right, so for those of you who, who want to do graphic design stuff and you don't know where to start, right? And I mean, it, you, we got Google, so you probably never heard of this stuff before, right? You got GIMP for photo for doing photo manipulation. You've got DaVinci Resolve. I did a video about that. I tr Not DaVinci Resolve. Um, What is it called, man? Yeah, no, it is DaVinci Resolve. I tried to switch over to DaVinci Resolve, and it, dude, I love the way it looks. It works perfect. Well, it works perfect. It's free. Like, I mean, it's just like, bro, like, this is dope video editing software. But for whatever reason, it stopped working on Windows. I couldn't get it to work. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, Premiere Pro is what I, Premiere Pro is what I use. And I'm not pitching any of this stuff. This, none of this stuff is ads. Right? This is just st stuff that I use that you can go out here and you can get it. Affinity Photo. Hey, let's check that out. Let's take a look at this. Affinity, A-F-F-I-N-I-T-Y. Affinity Photo. Hey, this looks pretty decent. Pretty decent. And this is probably good. This is good. This this probably this probably for the majority of people who want to get it, this is probably it. This is probably the program. I'm not gonna download it because I got I got what I'm using now. But let's see. How do we get this? Overview. How do we get this team? This is a nice website too. For those of you who want to be developers, look, right? You can build this. You can build this website, man. It's not that hard. This is this is this like you got the animations and stuff, but like the actual like if you got the graphic, if you got the assets, you don't even need the assets, man. You could go you could go download this software and you can build this website using their software. <laughs> Which is dope, right? That's called that's called Inception Baby. Hey look, if I scroll down and I see that this is this this is Mac only, I'm gonna kick three polygons out of the out of the chat. You're gonna be you're gonna be out of here, team. <laughs> Hey, look, you guys can't see what I'm looking at, right? Desktop with cam, right? So I'm looking at this website, man. Hey, look, if I get, if I'm, look, I'm, I've am i been scrolling forever, man. And they be, okay, there we go. Windows 40. Look, this is dope, man. You get a free trial and you can buy this for 49, 49 bucks and you got it forever, bro. That's, 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 hey, you can't beat that, man. You cannot beat that Mac, Windows, iPad. Hey, look, man, I want to so bad. I want to so bad. Look, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna put it in the chat for those who are who are interested, team. And I'm gonna open up uh, this other program I use called Notion, and I'm gonna save this link. Cause man, look, I tell you, team, I be having these good ideas, and I want to go down all these rabbit holes, man. I'm like, yo, I'm gonna go down this rabbit, and then I get caught up, and I don't do the work that I'm supposed to be doing, man. And the universe comes and it Bruce Lee kicks me in the face, team. <laughs> I don't want any more Bruce Lee kicks to my dome piece. I'm just trying to I'm just trying to live. Ten day trial, team. Go out there and get that ten day trial. Hey, check it out, team. For those of you who are using Adobe Photoshop and and you may and you may want to save some money, you can call them to cancel and they will typically give you something for free. Like I called them to cancel my subscription. Uh it was like a month ago. No, it wasn't a month ago. It was <laughs> when did I No, check this out. Check this out. I, I I either went online or I called to cancel my subscription like two, like three months ago. Then they gave me two free months. And then I called after the two free months to cancel my subscription. And I found out they had been double billing me for like a year. And so they gave me all my money. I didn't even know. Like, this is what, when you have money, you spend stuff. You you buy stuff. That you, and like, bro, I, I, was, I was paying for two. I was paying for two accounts and didn't even realize it. Hey, man, and some people are like, that is so ignorant, Cash. You're just wasting money. Hey, man, hey, okay, so I was wasting some money. It happens, right? Somebody somebody benefited from my foolishness. So I was, so they were double billing me, and then I called the cancel, and these guys were like, hey, man, hey, man, you've been overpaying us, bro. And so, and so they gave me my money back, and then I kept using it, right? I'm trying to save as much money as I can, man. I'm trying to start a business. I'm trying to grow. You know what I'm saying? It's rough out here, team. And so I call these guys back, and I'm like, hey, man, I'm going to cancel. It's like, like, literally, I was looking for other software. I don't – Affinity has a – do they have a whole suite of stuff? I feel like I've seen this icon before, but I haven't seen this name. But anyway, so I was looking, looking for some alternatives, man. And um, and I called these guys, and they're like, hey, you know. And, 
I think it's one of these services I was using, they were going to charge me again. I was like, hey, man, look, I can't afford this, man. I can't pay for what I need and this extra thing. And they're like, okay, we'll cancel this thing. No, the, and the guy on the phone, he was so cool. He was like, look, we'll give you a free two months, and by the time those two months are over, like, you can cancel it, and you won't have to. Because Adobe, Adobe, when you sign up and you go month to month, it's for it's, you're on a contract. And so it'll be, it'll be like an annual contract. Yep, see, thanks. Three three polygons just said it's three apps. Three apps, man. Let me bring back the chat for three polygons, team. Three apps. Look, he's he's brought us the fire, bro. Three polygons just brought us the fire, man. Look, look, affinity. And I dropped, I dropped the link up in there for you guys, right? Right? Grab that. Grab that. And go out. Just start experimenting, man. Start making stuff. One, one. This is what's crazy, man. This is what the world does. This is what the world does, right? I said, I'm like, hey, I've been thinking about doing all this stuff, something every day, right? So, hey, I'm going to do the live feed every day. Every day when I do the live feed, I got to go out to the internet. Well, I got to go out to the internet and I got to make cover art. So I'm like, yo, man, right? And people, I like, I watch all these videos, all this stuff pops up in my feed. You can see the kind of stuff that YouTube shows me, right? And I, I'm a, I'm an eclectic person, man. So I go all the way from freaking from tarot card readings to Donald Trump, right? You know, I'm all over the place, man. I think what I want. I do what I want, man. I'm a free I'm a free thinker. Right? Nobody ain't gonna tell me how to think, team. Nobody should tell you how to think either, man. I listen to everybody. Right? I follow everybody. Hey, look, if it's knowledge, I want it. I'm a I'm a seeker. I gotta find the truth. So I can be the light bearer. So I can be the messenger team. So I can bring you the truth out here. And so Man, what what was I <laughs> team? What was I getting on about, man? I'd be I'd just be out here just like going wild on it. You'd be ham on the mic, team. Hey, as you guys roll up in here, team. As you guys roll up in this piece, uh, tell us who you are, where you're from, what you're all about. What what is it you're trying to accomplish for the remainder of 2019, going into 2020? A lot of us here, mo I think most people in here, right? We're trying to get to the bag. We are trying to get to the bag and not trying like like we're done trying team. We're getting there. We're doing it. We're going to show up. Right. This is what this whole episode right here is about showing up every day and producing the work. And if you show up every day and you produce the work, you have to get better. There's no such thing as perfection. And what 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 jacks up a lot of coders, creators, artists, entrepreneurs is perfection. Right. Trying to get it perfect, right? It's it's never number one. It's never gonna. It can always be better. And when you make something to to one person, it's gonna be the dopest thing in the world. They're gonna be like, "Yo, photo line." So affinity, you find it at Seraph. Oh, what the hell, man? Polygon is dropping all kinds of knowledge over here in the chat. I can't even. I can't even follow it all. See, I remember having twenty. <laughs> Here, look, let me go back to these chats, Steve, in a, in a couple minutes, man. Hey, yo, so check it. Like, the work, like, every, every, if, you if you're producing something every day, you have to get better. Like, you are going to get better. Like, your eye is just going to see different things. You're going to get faster. You're going to get more efficient. And your work improves. But if you sit down and you try to make, like, the perfect, because this is what happens. If we've seen it, like, the game developers I think that's probably the most prolific one. I've met so many people who are like, man, I want to make games, right? And I've, I've, been, I've been meeting people all around the world for like the, for, for, dude, for like 40 years. You know what I'm saying? Not, not 40 years, man. I'm not that old. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm almost 40, but I'm not. I wasn't going around the world when I was like three, four, five years old. But, uh, <laughs> the point is, man, is I've met a lot of, I've met a lot of artists. A lot of video game singers, songwriters, programmers, video game makers, all kinds of people, man. All kinds of people. And some of these people produce stuff on a regular basis. Like, they're producing stuff every day. I got this friend, man. He used to make beats like Dr. Dre, like Timberland, like Pharrell, like... Bro, I don't even know if this dude's still around. This is how stupid the world is, man. Trump gets elected, and this dude stops talking to me. As if it matters, bro. It doesn't even matter, bro. Like, we brainwashed. <laughs> Kanye said it. He said, we're brainwashed out here, bro. For real. Like, I don't talk to this guy. Dude, one of the most talented people I have ever met. 
And I thought I thought he was like I thought he liked to draw because I met him in basic training and he drew all the time. Like he'd take a little notepad, have like a little notepad about the size of my hand, and he would draw a masterpiece on this thing. Like all the everything I saw him draw, he could sell. He could he could sell that notepad to somebody who likes comic book art, who's into who's into art. He could sell his, he could sell that notepad for like a thousand dollars, guaranteed. Like that's how good he is. I'm not bullshit, man. I bought a guitar. I bought a guitar. Check the, what was that? Hold on. I don't even know if it's the same guitar. Yeah, yeah. So I went to. No, I had a guitar at some point. I have another car, guitar over here, but I had a guitar. I bought this guitar to learn the guitar. I think my friend Nick. I had a friend Nick Swanson who played the guitar. So I bought this guitar. This dude comes in my house, right? I haven't even started to learn to play this thing. I'm just like you know strumming here and there. Picks up the guitar and starts playing the song. And I'm looking at he's like I've never played the guitar before. He might have been he might have been trolling me. I don't know, man. I believe him. He was he's my best friend, right? And um I was talking to him like the like the last conversation we had. I was like, "Bro, man, like the the internet, the internet is where it's at. You got to put your stuff out here, bro." I'm like, "Just hey, man, like record yourself drawing." And we'll we'll build a website and we'll put it on the internet. He's like, I got websites. He's got websites all over the place. Um, and let's see if I can remember. I can't remember. I can't remember the names of any of them, man. I can't. He had both, he had like two or three websites. He built them all in Wix. He's like, I got websites. And I was like, cool, man. And he was like, but but he wasn't getting any business from him. He's getting like little contracts here and there. And right, and that's the thing, like. He's he's so good that he knows that like people should be coming to him, but people don't know who he is, so they don't come. They don't come and ask him to do anything because they don't know who he is. Um, but then at the same time, he's not going out, right? He's not cold calling. He's not, you know, he's not going door to door. He's not sending emails. He's not doing any of this stuff. And then he's not putting this stuff on the internet because he's afraid somebody's going to steal it. And so drawing and art wasn't even like his biggest, his biggest passion like the thing that he really was into was making music making beats and so he's got the gift the gift of a creator like just create like that's the gift the skill set that he was meant to develop was the internet but he didn't right and so i'm telling him like yo bro like this is the direction let's go in this direction let's go in this direction I'm the communicator, man. I know, I know, I know where you need to be, what you need to do, right? I, I just, I know this stuff, man. Hey, hey, man. And then, hey, Trump gets elected. We're talking about something. We're talking about Baltimore. No, it, it's not even Trump. It was like Baltimore or something. Um, this uh, one of these incidents where, where like some somebody got shot. Saint, no, in St. Louis, Ferguson. Is it Ferguson? Ferguson's in St. Louis. That whole thing went down. And we we're having a conversation, bro. And I was like, man, I was like, I know there's racist people and there's racism, man. But I was like, yo, I, that, I don't think that's the case, man. I don't think that's the cops are running around profiling people like this. And I, hey, look, we live in different places. Where he lives, I'm sure it maybe that's the case. I can recall when I was in Chicago, yeah, man. Like, in the ghetto, like, everybody's a criminal to the, pol- to the police. Because you don't know. You don't know, man. Right? Like, I've seen people shoot at the police. For real, for real. Like, hey, let, that's fun. Hey, it's Saturday. Let's go shoot at the cops. So the cops don't even come and park in the neighborhood. They avoid the neighborhood. They don't want to come around there, man. You call the police. They don't want to show up. Imagine imagine you're the police. Somebody calls you because there's a crime going on. And then you go to help these people. And on your way there, you got a bunch of clowns shooting at you. And you get out your car and they're shooting at you. Like, this is this happens, man. Right, so they just stay away. They're like, "Yo, bro, I ain't messing with this." And then we go, "Oh, they're racist because they don't want to come to the to the neighborhood." Well, shit. I mean, okay, <laughs> like, yeah, we could call it racist. Like, look, I didn't leave. I love. I, I left Chicago. Right, my mom moved us out of Chicago because because it was dangerous. Right, and so and some people they didn't like that, man. They go they go look. Right, you're uh, Alaska. You left us all behind. You sold us out. Nah, man. She's trying to live, bro. Some people be be do it, man. Come on. So this dude don't talk to me no more, man. He could be one of the greatest artists. To, and I mean, like the, the story. The story's long. 
The story's long. He may, if the universe works the way I believe, right? This channel is going to blow. He's going to see one of my videos on YouTube. He's going to start to follow, and he's going to hear me tell the story over and over again. He's like, yo, he, he reach out. Because, dude, man, like, I don't care, man. Look, I want everybody to win. I want everybody to win. But here's the deal, right? You can't help people in bad situations win by telling them how to perpetuate the bad situation. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's the whole that's the whole deal, right? Whether you like Trump or not, right, it doesn't... If you live your life as a victim, that's what you're going to be all the time, right? Because nobody's coming to fucking save you. No politician, nobody, right? You're on your own out here, team. You know what I'm saying? There's people who will lend you a hand. You know what I'm saying? But for the most part, it's you. You got to be willing to help yourself. And a lot of people, they aren't willing to help themselves. They're just like, hey, man, right? Right? That's this whole thing. Let's go out and protest some stuff. Come on, man. That's a waste of time, bro. You think the people with the money and the power are really paying attention? Like, you think your protest is going to change their minds, right? You may start a revolution, but shit. I mean, how many people have to die? That's crazy. When you can just go out and start your own thing and grow it organically from the inside out? Come on, man. That's the better way. You live a more fulfilled life. So Umesh and Chris Doe, two of my favorite people on the entire planet, right? They're like, hey, Chris, hey, Umesh, how you doing, man? He said, every day. Every day. I produce a video and upload it. And three years later, this guy's got 1.5 million subscribers. That's a lot of people. 1.5 million, that's a lot of people. Just to put this in context, right, team? Let's put this in context. Context. All right, 1.5. So so imagine, so so uh, every a th- something that we all can understand is money. One. Five zero 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 zero. So that's one million five hundred, right? And then let's say we divided this by twelve. Well, not divide. Let's divide it by. Let's divide it by ten ten thousand, right? Let's say we want to spend ten grand a month. Divided by one zero 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 equals right. That's a hundred. That's a hundred fifty months that you can live with one point five million dollars. We divide this by uh, twelve, right? It's twelve point five years, bro. You rolling? You roll now. Give you some perspective. Like a billion dollars is a lot of money. We throw these numbers around like they're tiny. A billion dollars, like so, if if um, twelve point five years, right? If this were if this were days, if this were days, a billion dollars would be the equivalent of like, if twelve point five days, right, is a million dollars. The equivalent in a billion dollars would be the equivalent of 32 years. So, so hey, look, hey, when you're out here in the world and somebody's like, oh man, you know, he started out with the with with the hundred million, two two hundred million, now he's worth four billion, eight billion, or however many billions. Like, that's a big leap, man. It's a big, It's not easy. It's not. It's. it's you know somebody there there there's this there it's crazy there's this window I learned it from Warren Buffett there's this window when you first start out it's hard Peter Thiel has a book about this called called zero to one if anybody likes to read or is interested in reading and uh, to be honest you could probably find it on YouTube like the audio book is somebody's probably recorded it or ripped it or whatever zero to one here look I'm gonna copy this and then I'm just gonna go over here go to YouTube Year tip, year tip, year tip, zero to one by Peter Thiel. Peter Thiel is the founder of uh, Under Armour. For those of you who don't know, and he's got he's got a, he's got a bunch of other companies too, but uh, Under Armour is his thing, right? And so in and, and I mean you can watch the videos, right? If you just go zero to one and go find it, hard hardest thing to do is to go from zero clients to one client, and it's hard because you're lacking a whole bunch of stuff. You're lacking like confidence. You're lacking. You're lacking. I mean, you don't know if anything's going to work. So it's just, I mean, and so you produce one video. Imagine, right, either going on YouTube. You produce a video and nobody watches it for a day, two days, three, a week, a month. You got zero views. Most people will never go back and produce another video. But you have to, man. You have to. It's the only way. It is the only way to get what you want, to get to where you go. You got to produce another video, man. Another video that nobody will watch. 
in another video, and you got the, you got to hey, you keep producing them until you, I don't know, man. If you say until you until you produce them in a, a large enough number to give you a, a, a accurate depiction of what is possible. One ain't gonna do it. Two ain't gonna do it. Ten ain't gonna do it. Maybe a hundred may not even be enough. A thousand may be the magic number. That's why I say, man, like, if you know your gift and you know your purpose, right, and you know who you want to be and you know what kind of life you want to live and you write all this stuff down and you got it solidified, right, no number is too large. No amount of time is too big. You just go and you just do. But you got to show up every day. You got to be consistent. You have to show up every day, but you got to be consistent. You can't be like one week and then, you know, skip a week and the next week. That's what I did with my YouTube channel. It was a consistent team. Right? That's why Chris Doe, that's why Chris Doe beat me. And I mean, it's not like we're in a race, right? He was in a race with him, with, with himself. I was in a race with my, we're all in a race with ourselves. But this, to, relatively speaking, to give you guys an idea, right? That's what, that's what showing up every day can do for you, right? And so even if we go like out, like my channel now, let's see. Show you guys. 5.89 thousand subscribers. At the beginning of this month, I was at like 5,800. Like last month, it was like 56. You know what I'm saying? And so, right, every day we do the show. Not a, not a whole bunch of views, but at some point it's going to pop. Like, this show's 308, 290. And, I mean, they're long shows, right? Like, look, come on. Right? 160 people have gone and watched four hours and 17 minutes. of the, not, they, they haven't watched the whole thing, you know what I'm saying? But that's the thing. You just got to show up every day. And so a, a, a strange side effect to that was that, like, I end up producing these these images every day. So now I got, like, this photo gallery. Of just like all these images that I've, and I mean I didn't draw the all the art right. This is all pulled from Art Station. There's artists like if you look at every image, it'll show like the artist that the image came from and stuff like that. But you got to get good with Photoshop, right? You become proficient or whatever program you're gonna use. You develop your own workflow, right? Like I talked about workflows the other day. If we go over here, I got this folder called Podcast Pod, and this folder has everything I need to produce all the cover art. Right, and then I got another another folder called uh, what is it? If we type in, it's on my desktop somewhere, team zero zero. It's got like all my production assets. It starts with I I, I named it specifically so it starts with a zero, so to show up at the like always at the top. But then I sort this stuff, so we go sort by uh, name. Where is it? And and I might have deleted it by mistake or some goofiness like that. It happens. It, it happens. Where is it at, man? Where is it at? Ah, uh, it may be up here on this other. I got so many monitors over here, dude. But ah, uh, there it is. So we'll open that, right? So I got this folder. It's got like production assets, right? We got intro, same intro you see in the show, lower thirds, logos, all kinds of stuff. Whenever I need something, I've got stuff in here for like. I got another folder for like uh, clothes production. It has templates and stuff in it. So you develop your workflows and you become more organized. But the only way you can do that is by doing it. Now, when we go through the tutorials and stuff, they'll be like, hey, right, this is a good practice. That is a good practice. You can do this. You can do that. So you, you, you learn some stuff. But if you don't put that stuff into action, like it's, you just wasted your time. Right. It, or if it doesn't give you some a new idea, some new thought process, something to go for, like you just wasted your time. Team. So the best way to get there with anything is to just show up every day. The only place. The only place where you where you can, well, you know what? Look, right? There's a possibility that you show up every day and you don't get what you want. Right? Maybe you show up with the wrong attitude. Maybe you show up with the wrong mindset. Maybe you focus on a gift that's not really yours, right? You really want to be. This is what happens to most people, right? We daydream as kids and then we grow up, and we're taught we're taught hard work. I'm telling you, man. There's an agenda, team. There's an agenda by someone somewhere. I, you know. You show up every day and you do hard work. But if you're working on something that you were not meant to do, you will never you will not get you will not get everything that you could possibly get from that thing. That's what happens, team. So when you show up, right, you got to work on whatever your purpose is. And it doesn't have to be like some big bowl <laughs> like like this it doesn't have to be what people what people make it out to be. Like it doesn't have to be holy or 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 or, or impactful you don't have to be trying to cure cancer or save the world or something like that man or you just want to you could just make ice cream some people just love making ice cream 
Hey, man, right? Ben and Jerry's, right? 30 Basket Robins. Maybe that's your thing, right? Somebody is going to benefit from you making ice cream, and you never know. You never know, man. You never, you don't know. Somebody could come into your ice cream shop, have a scoop of ice. They Look, they could be going off to commit a mass murder. And they're driving by and they see your sign and something about your sign just said, just screams to them. Hey, take a break. And they stop and they come in and they see you and you, they roll in. You got a big old smile on your face, team. You're like, hey, hey, nice to see you. Welcome. Welcome to my shop. What kind of flavor do you want? And they're like, hey, man, right? And they're my, and they I want vanilla. Like they're going to have some vanilla ice cream before they go commit this atrocious crime. And they, 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 they have your vanilla ice cream. It maybe is just like every other vanilla ice cream, but you do something a little different. You got like a little flavor in there. You put, you put your own, you put your own dust on it. Like, like Joe says, man, you put your, sprinkle your dust on it, man. Right? Put your swag on it. And it's the best, ice, to them, it may be the best ice cream they ever had. And it changes their whole perspective on life. And they leave your shop, and instead of going to kill a bunch of people, they go, and they turn everything around, team. Right? And they, they, they maybe they start up. Ten years down the road, they start a business. They're employing hundreds of people, supporting hundreds of families. The business is a success. You just contributed to the world. You changed the world. Right? You saved the lives of who knows how many people. Just from a scoop of ice cream, team. So if you got the desire to scoop ice cream, the sauce, Sark said it, the sauce. Joe, you got to put the sauce on it, man. Put the sauce on the cream. Joe over at Coding Phase, CodingPhase.com, team. If you want to learn the code, right, you want to learn React, you want to learn to build fresh websites, CodingPhase.com. I got no affiliate link, team, right? I'm just, I'm out here. I got my own thing. I, I show people... The basics, the bare minimum, the bare minimum, but the what I believe is the most powerful skill set, the most powerful skill set. Understand your brain, understand the tools around you, show up and use them every day, build stuff. It doesn't have to be complicated. You don't have to know a bunch of complicated stuff to get out here and get it, team. You just go out, you just go out and you get it and you show up every day. But people don't, some people don't want to hear that. They don't want to hear that, man. They don't want to hear you got to work for this, right? They don't want to. They don't want to ask themselves the tough questions. But hey, man, that's what this whole show is about today, man. We got our man Chris Doe. Chris Doe. And it's not just about the 612 subscribers, right? Like Chris started out like 20, 30 years ago. He's very successful, very successful designer, very successful creator. He's worked on movies, video games, right? He's worked with humongous companies. Then we got Unmesh. Saint Unmesh, right? All he was making was YouTube videos. But imagine, right? Some people, when he first started, they're like, ah, he doesn't. He doesn't know anything about Photoshop. He's not no expert, man. Not no expert. 100 videos into it, people are like, hey, you're an expert. They're trying to hire you. Hey, that's if you're producing enough content. If you're getting out there enough, if you're getting in front of enough people, the opportunity will come. That is the, that's the core of it, team. All right, so let's get over to the chat. Let's get over to the chat, team. Let's go up in here, see what we got popping. Sark says the sauce. Joe says put the sauce on it. CodingPhase.com if you guys want to learn some reactive stuff. I got no affiliate link, team. I don't need no affiliate links, man. All right. From ArtStation. Yep. Careful with the rights. I don't understand what the rights are. I don't know anything about them. Right? I just grab a picture. I, I, I put the artist on it. Who who's, Whose artwork it is. And that's it. That's it, team. All right? So if somebody wants to come and say, hey, take this down, then fine. I'll take it down. Somebody wants to sue me, okay. Right, go ahead. Give it a shot. I don't think it's that serious. Right? Because what I'll do is I'll tell the world. I'll say, hey, this, this guy is coming to sue me because I have his picture. Right? And not, not, not saying that, like, you know, that's whatever, right? But I don't, claim none of, I don't claim any of that stuff is mine. Like, if you look at all the images, it say artwork by so-and-so and so-and-so. Uh, let's see. Still neither good business, especially today before web. Before web. Before web making was a bad idea, today it's a really good idea. Three polygons, still neither a good business, especially today. Before, when you say before, I, I'm just trying to get to the, get to the, um, <laughs> he says, ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, okay. I mean, yeah, what do I do? You know what do I do, man? Right? 
I don't understand why somebody would be mad that I'm showing that I'm showing their artwork to a, a extra a extra ten thousand people a month. Doesn't make any sense. I'm not making any money off of it, right? Like, I mean, sure, people click the ad and they watch the video. You know what I'm saying? But it's just another place to put your stuff. Maybe they don't want to be associated with me, which I can understand. Right? I can understand. You don't want to be associated with me. But you know what? Hey, team, here's the deal, right? Like, people get caught up on stuff like that, 3 Polygon, and they never make anything. They don't do nothing. They don't do, oh, I can't make cover art. So they never make a video. Right? You know what I'm saying? So, like, eh, it's one of those things, man. Like, you don't know unless you try. You know what I'm saying? I see, uh, still neither a good business, especially today. So what are you saying? What, what are you saying? Uh, what's what's not a good business today? I'm looking at this comment right here. Before before making was a before before web making was a bad idea. Today it's a really good idea. What do you mean, bro? Uh, see, poly three poly up three poly obviously three polygons the artist man also also made a lot of web uh, so he's done a bunch of stuff in absolute time been a lot more doing graphic design four 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 i mean haha <laughs> see well for game companies man three poly guys that all kinds of stuff over here man all kinds of stuff if you guys got any questions if you're in the chat you got any questions team you got any questions team let let us know Spit those things out. Bree Power, nice to see you, brother. I'm just going back through reading these, reading through this chat. There's a lot of stuff going on up here, man. Reading through this chat. Let's see. Three probably got. Do you have crazy? Okay, so, so uh, there's a there's a pretty cool co conversation going on up here between three polygons and the you Daniel. Let me go back to the bottom team. Oh, because now is better. Now is better paid. Yeah, and there's more movement. Well, here's the deal, team. Right, like this is what I'm telling people out here. He, people, like people don't want to do stuff because they don't think they they don't think it's gonna pay off. Right? There's somebody out there who likes who likes cleaning toilets, but they won't clean toilets. Like they love it, they love it. Like that's their thing. They just want to clean stuff, but they don't think it's gonna pay off. And if you don't think it's gonna pay off, then it's never gonna pay off, dude. But for everybody who thinks that something can't be done, that you can't make money in it, like somebody's been making a bunch of money. And so like like, let's see. I remember making a site for two. You made you made a site for two hundred euros and ninety six because you made a site for two hundred euros and ninety six. I guarantee if you go back far enough, you could find somebody who made two hundred thousand euros for building a website in nineteen ninety six. Guaranteed, guaranteed. You didn't think it was possible, so it wasn't possible. People making websites in ninety six, two hundred thousand dollars. Somebody probably made a website for a million dollars in nineteen ninety six. Think about it. The internet's brand new. You got humongous companies, right? There's somebody out there who's like, I got to innovate. You know what I'm saying? Progressive. What do I what do I think about pro that's a fantastic question, Muhammad. What do I think about progressive web apps? Uh hmm. So here's the deal, team. Uh and Muhammad can tell me if I'm right. Three polygons, he's got a lot of knowledge on this too. He can tell me if I'm right. You know learn all need. You now learn all needed to do Word WordPress and you're making a great choice. Oh, I think I think three polygons might be talking to somebody else when he when he said that last one. Um, progressive progressive web apps, progressive web apps team. So here's the deal: a progressive web app. For those of you who don't know, it's a web application that that uh it acts like a app. It acts like a web application. When I say <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. It's a web application that acts like a native application. So like how we have like here. Let me go over to the uh, to the desktop. Like this right here. I use this program called Notion. Notion is is basically a progressive web app. And so it it's a it's a desktop application that I've downloaded. But it's written in HTML, CSS and JavaScript and it's sitting on top of some sort of framework. Um and I'm not exactly sure what it is. But what the framework does is it essentially takes the functions of the browser and puts them in this little window that doesn't have an address bar in it, right? And so this this is not a progress. This is a progressive web app, but it's a different kind of example, right? Because you have, like, if you go on Notion.com, we can see this same kind of application. It's exactly the same. There's no difference. If we go to Notion.com, and then we have the address bar, we have all the access to all the, you know, the stuff right there. The deal is that with with a progressive web app, you're able to, you 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 utilize more of the browser. So, if you need to store any data. 
you use local storage, right? And so this makes it like you can use this website away from the internet. So basically, so basically, I got this application that that needs the internet to run. And just pretend this is inside of a web browser. It's this whole application. It needs the internet to to do its thing. But once I've connected once, whatever I looked at, it's in local storage on my machine. So this means I can use the application and not have to be connected to the internet. I think progressive web apps are fantastic. I think they're amazing. I think I think progressive web apps give anybody who's willing to put forth the time and the effort to learn the be- the fundamentals. The fundament team, I'm telling you, man, right? You don't need some big ass complicated course. You don't even you don't need to be in the Code 365 Startup Lab, which I must pitch right now, team. The Code 365 Startup Lab is my site that I created for aspiring artists, creators, developers, entrepreneurs who who have trouble. They are struggling with getting their products and services out. They're, they're struggling, right, team? Right? Look, look, right? Like the Code 365 Startup Lab. I gotta pitch it. I gotta pit. I gotta tell people. Is it is it's it started out as the idea to build like to have some free courses online, and then it turned into like okay, hey look, right? I'm I'm producing a lot of content. It's taking a lot of time. The code. What did I? Do? Oh, there's no the. It's code three six five started black. It's taking a lot of time. I'm gonna roll this into a course. I got the idea from Joe over at Coding Phase, but I went a different route. So if you go down here. Right. All this stuff is free. Right. Web Dev Toolkit, PowerShell. If you go through these six free things and you do exactly what I say here, you can you will learn web development and you don't need anybody else to learn it. Right. You but you got to be willing to go out and read and watch and do stuff. The most important thing you do is build stuff. But then I have the code three, six, five startup lab. Right. For 20 bucks a month, you get a membership. And in here, I'm producing content. Right. And so I've got all this stuff up here. Right. Getting to the money as fast as possible. How to find clients. Right. Cold calling. Uh, email software, how to get leads, how to email people. Um, then we go, we set up our ultimate web dev environment again, right? Everything we need to write code, front, back, side, side, all that stuff. We go down here. The basics of HTML. Here I'm talking about the stuff that nobody talks about, right, team? Like how just learning HTML and writing structurally correct pages will result in higher search engine results and you'll get more traffic just based on that, right? Your page doesn't have to be pixel perfect. The search engine has got to be able to find it so they can show it to people. And at the very least, right, if your site doesn't turn into a winning money maker, you have data. But most people don't have data. They got beautiful looking websites, but nobody sees them because they coded them all wrong and they don't show up in the search engine. Right. Then we go down here, we get into the building blocks, all the stuff that everybody overlooks. Right. And then we go even deeper. Right. So uh html wizard is bundled inside of here here's the full cur- well this isn't the full curriculum this is all the stuff i got planned for html html wizard and then at the very end of this we go into the first project but if you go down here i just uploaded like all this stuff is brand new this all went up yesterday uh hold on intro to html go yep yesterday and there's two videos sitting in the queue now that i need to upload one of them's 38 minutes long and we're talking about uh global attributes i got the intro but i don't have the actual the actual content i was in the middle of editing well i was going to edit the video and adobe upgraded premiere pro and now for whatever reason all of my videos play back at like (laughs) they 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 play back like a third faster like when i'm in when i'm in premiere pro like i'll go in to edit the video and i'm like looking at it to preview it and it's playing in like fast motion i can't figure out how to slow it down team so if anybody's come across that problem hey let me know point me in a direction where i can I can fix this because I haven't I don't know what's going on, man. I just I got so frustrated. I just turned the computer off and left. I was like, I'm done. And then I'll, I'll do the morning show and I'll try it again tomorrow. But um, but yeah, so the code three, six, five startup lab, you go here. Right. It's all basic HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and you get access to um to our fantastic community of of uh of members and non members from around the Internet. Right. In our Discord chat, and then I got some. Ex- I got some. Um, I mean, I don't know how ex- how exclusive it's gonna be, but I got. I'm, I'm producing additional content. Like I'm gonna have. Uh, so I don't know if it's gonna be daily, weekly, or what. You see, it's at the very least it'll probably be weekly, but content just specific to the things I do 
for the channel, for the store, for the Code 365 Startup Lab. Just like behind the scenes stuff, like things I'm working on, my thoughts and stuff like that. Um, just something sort of exclusive for people who want to come and show the channel support. You know what I'm saying? And so, I mean, there's a bunch of ways you can do it. You can buy a lifetime membership. You can buy an annual membership. You can go month to month. Um, and that's it, team. Come come over to the community, hang out, participate. That's the Code 365 Startup Lab. So, so I saw... Man, I forgot why I went why I went, <laughs> why I went down that road on that long spell. That long spell. Let's go back and look at the chat. Can someone sue you for selling a sticker of their famous anime character, for example? Yeah, I think so. I think they could sue you. Yeah, if you if you sold it and you didn't give them any money from it, yeah, like they would be pissed. Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you be pissed if somebody took your work and they and and, and they and they claimed it's their own? But like, here's another thing, right? Like. If you, if you, if you take, if you take the stick, and I mean, right, like the world's a crazy place. Like some people are just going to sue you just because. And most, most people, most people sue other people because they've seen that shit on TV, right? They're like, I'm going to go to court and I'm going to sue them. Into, and I mean, like, it's not, it's not even real, man. And like, that's how we end up at, a, at each other's throats. That's why I say, like, if you, hey, you want to, like, look, here, look, here's the deal, team, right? Most of us aren't going to make it out of here alive. You know what I'm saying? Most people aren't going to be successful because they have that kind of mindset. Like, I'm going to sue you, right? You know what I'm saying? You can sue somebody and get rich. But they'll probably get rich. If you can sue somebody and you get rich from suing them, that means that they're richer than you. Right? And so you can either go, you could go around making your money suing people and sow a lot of bad karma and end up in the bad place when you pass away from this earth. Or you can, you know, be a good citizen and be upfront with people. Hey, man, I don't want you using my artwork. Can you stop? Okay, and then you say okay. Now I would I would I would guess I don't know for sure. Like if you want to if you see some something super dope and you want to make some artwork with it, right? There's you can retweak it, you can recolor it, you can remash it up, right? You can make it you can completely make it your own, right? That's one thing you could do. You could go to the person you can say, hey, look, man, right? You got this thing. I want to make this into some stickers. Um, can I do that? They may say pay me. Some people may go go ahead. I don't care, right? They don't care, right? Um, or, or, or like maybe they don't answer. You give them some sort of attribution. You go out, you find a website, you find a social media, whatever, and then you make the sticker, and then on the sticker you put all of their, you put all of their information. You know what I'm saying? And again, some people are still gonna be mad. Imagine, right? Imagine. So, so I'm working on this YouTube because <laughs> it's gonna happen, right? You know, like I, I, I hope it doesn't. You know, but it's, it's a possibility. I'm working on this YouTube channel. Nobody knows who I am right now. But in 365 days, they'll know who, they'll know who I am very well, team, right? Because I'll have I'll have 365 videos online, right? And even with just the videos I have now, right? We're we're at 10,000 viewers a month. So if I keep going, right? We're looking at 100,000 at, at least, at least. If things keep going like they are now, no videos take off, right? We don't we don't start get we don't trend or nothing like that, right? We can get to 100,000 viewers a month, easy. You know what I'm saying? And that's gonna be Right. If, if we just extrapolate, right, based on the number of videos I now, if, if that that would, if we just go based off the number of videos I have now and the number of subscribers, we'd be at ten thousand. We'd be at ten thousand subscribers, which isn't a lot, but we would be at a hundred thousand views a month. So this means that that anything that I use on my channel has the potential to reach a hundred thousand. Right now, the potential to reach ten thousand people every month. Right. And that and that number just grows every month. So there'll be somebody out there. Right. And nobody will know who they are. And they'll they'll come to the channel and they'll see they'll see the artwork or I'll talk about them or whatever. And they'll go and they'll see this person. And they'll and I mean, you got haters out there. Right. Like somebody will show up and be like, hey, I was on his YouTube channel and he's got all these people and he's making all this money and he's using your artwork like this. That, and the and then those people will come back and they'll be like, they'll want to sue you. They'll want to do whatever. They'll want to do whatever it is that people want to do. Right? You know what I'm saying? It's, it is what it is. Like, I got, a, I got a sticker in my store. Somebody stole a sticker. Right? I don't care, man. Because cause here's the deal, right? They'll never be able to make the sticker on their own. You know what I'm saying? I Hey, maybe they have more success and they come back one day and they give me $100,000. I don't know, man. Right? You want to you take the sticker and you just say, go ahead. Right? You know what I'm saying? It hurts my feelings, but I can make another one. I got the skill set. I made the first sticker. I just make another sticker, man. 
And, and, and if I'm out here producing enough content, right, people will know, like, hey, this is the guy that made that sticker. You know what I'm saying? And so in your case, like you're saying, like, like you know, it's up to you, man, right? You got to do what the universe tells you, right? Me, I would, I mean, I would do it. Why not, right? But I would, I would also put on the sticker, like, hey, like, their information, their website, their social media, not mine, right, there, like, I sell the sticker on my site, but when you get the sticker to wherever you put it and you stick it on there, it has their website on it, right? And and you bring them traffic. And hey, man, like I said, some some people they have no traffic, none, zero. And then you bring them the traffic, and they they act like they're doing you a favor, like their like their work is what created the opportunity for you, right? You know, hey, man, maybe maybe. <laughs> That's why those people were in the situation they're in. Because if they if they if they were putting their work out there, and it, and I mean, come on, like you're promoting their stuff. So anyway, that's enough about that. That's enough about that thing. That's how I feel about that thing. Ah, uh, let's see. You know, nah, man. I don't. I don't think I know much. Well, I. I. You guys are having a different conversation. Can someone see, uh, see with the web thing that today is much better thing? Yep, through polygons because now it's better pay. Yep, better pay, better pay. Muhammad, I mean, hey man. So progressive. So my bad, Muhammad. Progressive web apps, they're fantastic, right? And using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, anybody can build an application that looks like an iPhone app. That will work. It, it'll look like an iPhone app when somebody opens the web page on their phone, and it'll look like a full website when somebody opens it on their computer. And you can utilize a lot of stuff that a lot of people overlook. Like if we go, if we go Control Tab and we go to uh, HTML, not HTML, W3 Schools, and go over here, we take a look at the web APIs. Like if we go Learn HTML, go down here to HTML APIs. Look, there's tons of them, man. You got geolocation. Hold on, there's like a whole list of all of these things somewhere. So geolocation is one. Drag and drop, web sto web storage, uh, web workers. Web workers like background processes. They'll go out to the internet, grab other stuff. They program. They do whatever you program them to program them to do. Um, but then you've got web storage. So you can down. So there's 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 local storage. I don't know. I don't know what this web storage is. Maybe maybe they're like encompassing a bunch of different things. Yeah. So local storage and session storage. So you can store stuff on the user. That's how progressive web apps work. You can store stuff on the user's computer, and then they can get to that stuff when the uh, when the internet's not available. And I think there's a bunch of money in it, right? I think there's a bunch of money in anything. Like if it's your like if it's your thing, like you could probably make a bunch of money in it, right? Like even if it's just HTML, you know what I'm saying? See Polygon, with you know better than me. I mean, I only know old school HTML, CSS, full stop. That's nothing today. You know a lot more. I'm a I'm a student. Uh through Polygon. Actually you gave me an idea like providing artwork as promo in the form of YouTubers thumbnails. Good idea. Hey. Hey look man, look I'm I'm the messenger. I'm the messenger, bro. Like I don't make this stuff like dude, so many people. I'm telling you, I got a friend. No shit. Right now I called this guy a week ago. Like this is how it goes down. I called this guy a week ago, Saturday, Sunday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, something like that. Man, maybe even longer. Maybe I recorded the video, but I, I forgot where I put it, man. It, so, so get it. Since, since then, if we just look at the YouTube channel, right? I'm tooting my own horn over here. <laughs> if we look at the YouTube channel, right? I've produced a four-hour episode, a four-hour episode, a three-hour episode, two-hour episode, nine-hour episode, four-hour episode, two-hour episode, two-hour episode. You feel me? go back a week this guy's got eight hours of music sitting on his computer somewhere and i you know i hope he watch i hope he listens to the live feed because it'll light a fire under him i call him i say hey bro i need music because i don't know how to make music guys right like i could learn fuck yeah i could go learn how to make some music and i'd be really good at it i think but I, i'm on a mission right now i got some stuff that i need to do right i'm trying to i, I want i'm tr i'm making uh, the code 365 startup lab is for my 16 year old self that is that is it Right. So people who are out here who are creating. Right. I don't even want them to finish. I don't care if you learn HTML. I want you to go in there and spend your money. Right. So I could buy cool stuff and you can be motivated to build stuff in every day. In every lecture, I yell at you. Hey, team, 
Use this knowledge to go build some stuff. And so the goal is that you go out and you build enough stuff and you get noticed and you get the job that you want. And you get the life that you want. You get to become the person that you want to be. That's the goal. That's the goal. And if I can help enough people do that, I'll make tons of money. Tons of money. More money than I can imagine. More money than I can ever spend. I'm saying like that's that's the deal. So anyway, a week ago I go to my friend, man. I say, hey, man, you got how much music do you got? And he's like, well, you know, I don't. Yeah, yeah. I say like music that 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 is not heavily sampled that that we could play on the radio and it would be completely unique. He goes, I got about eight hours. I said, what kind of music, man? And I'm, I'm thinking this guy. I thought all he played was like jazz and instrumentals and stuff like that. He's like, nah, man. I got like you know I'm into like this this sort of this sort of techno hip hop funk jazz type of so it's it's completely unique music i'm like bro i want to come to your house right now i want your music i want to put it online and he's like well you know i'm really concerned about putting my music out there because uh you know people they may steal it and they may use it i'm like bro like think about this man how long you been making music your entire life how many projects you've been working on Dozens. He's working on a project right now. I met this guy like four years ago. He's working on the same project for four years. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it happens. It happens because, like, dude, there's all this shit in our head that we haven't overcome. So we can't get past that stuff, man, and it holds us back. Right? So a week ago, like, I've done, look at all this stuff I've done, man. All this stuff in a week. And all he has to do is call me and say, hey, Cass, I'm ready. Come get this stuff. And I show up with a hard drive, get the music. And, bro, we start making some money with this stuff. But he's like, ah, man, you know, he's afraid for whatever reason. Like, this this is what people do. So, so here's the, like, just put it out there, man. For real. Like, go to, you. hey, hey, look, if you make artwork on a regular basis, three polygons, hey, man, I could put your artwork on my channel. I, dude, you've seen, you've seen the deal, right, in every video. And I get these wrong. Like, I'm a human being. Somebody may come back and be like, hey, that's not my name. Just tell me your name and I'll fix it. But if we go in here, look, the artist is right here in every video. I don't have a, I, like, this link. YouTube should just make this link work, but they don't. But if we go up here, right, the artist is right there, right at the top. Most people put you at the bottom, man. Be at the bottom of the page. Put the artist right at the top. You go look at all their work. And if you want to hire them, then you go hire them. Here's the deal, right? Regular people, right, like, every day, the everyday person is not going to hire this person to do anything they'll go and they'll look at their artwork and they'll say it's cool they'll share it around the internet but they man come on bro you think you think gina from down the street is gonna go commission <laughs> Yaqib, hakim ja jakim whatever it, like you know like i i don't want to i don't want to butcher his name i got great respect for like the, look at their artwork man much love much respect i just don't know how to pronounce their name Right. But look, fantastic stuff. But the average person is not going to buy is not going to commission them to do this. Now, the average person may go buy a print, which you can sell on ArtStation. But you, look, you got artists, designers, creators on ArtStation. They don't even they haven't even implemented the feature so you can go buy their prints. So it's like little like stuff like that, man, that holds us back. Right. So you're on ArtStation and you think you're doing something. But maybe I mean, like the point the point is, is that most people, people don't know who they are. And they don't know who they are because they're afraid to put their stuff out there. Because, and, and because they're operating on false, false evidence appearing real. Fear. False evidence. I'm telling you, man, TV will jack your brain up. TV will have you thinking everybody wants to sue you. TV will, look, TV had me thinking that Iraq was like this third world cesspool of a country. I get over there, man, bro. Bro. They got, they got mud huts. That are older than America, literally, like you got you got a little a little mud shack with a dirt floor that's been passed down from generation to generation for the last thousand years or some craziness like that, right? But at the same time, you got humongous universities that are two three thousand years old. We go over there, we want to drop some bombs on them, man. So the news will have us believe that these guys are completely backwards, right? And it's and to them. It, they weren't backwards. They aren't backwards. To us, they are. Because it's two different cultures, man. Two different cultures. Right? Some people look at the black community and go, dude, like, they're killing each other because all the, because their most famous artists rap about selling drugs and shooting guns and raping and, and, and not, I don't know about raping women, but, but womanizing. Right? All of the bad stuff. 
The stuff that the Bible tells you not to do, that's what that's what we're singing about. And we're buying it. And we're listening to people. We're taking political advice from people who say who 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 explicitly say, I sold drugs to my own community. I sold drugs to the kids. This is who we're taking our advice from. Right? It's a cultural problem. Cultural problem, see. So but the media will have you thinking like, oh yeah, man, you should listen to Jay Z. He's a very smart dude. He is a very smart dude. This dude came out of the came out of the projects and made a ton of money, right? Kanye, Jay Z is how Kanye got his start. Now take that. Not, I mean, think about this, right? Right. You got this guy from Chicago. He gets his start. Jay Z, like that's a big thing. He's working with Jay Z, and at some point, he's like, I gotta go my own way, and then he and then he goes full out Christian, and he was Christian before. He did an interview like 10 years ago. It was like, dude, I just want to make Christian music. I got something I want to say. But people won't buy it. He wrote a song about it. Right? If you make a, if you make a record about Jesus, your song won't get played. It won't go on the radio. Right? Anybody been listening to the radio and heard any song from, from Jesus is King? No. He's right. He's proved it. He's proved it. But yo, if you, if you, if you make a song about, about womanizing and about... And about destroying your own community, then yo, it'll play on the radio all day and night. So, what I'm saying is like, right? People are afraid of a bunch of stuff that's never gonna happen. Somebody may sue you, somebody may not sue you, right? Okay. Okay. What if it never happens? What if you never tried and nobody was ever gonna sue you? Right? What if you what if you try and you make something that's completely original comes right off the top of your head and somebody shows up and they're like, oh, I had that idea 15 years ago and they want to take you to court. It, that happens all that happens every day. Very few ideas are uniquely unique. Right. We've all had an idea and seen it implemented in the real world. Come on, man. <laughs> How many people are here have had an idea? It was like, dude, that would be so dope. And you didn't do shit about it. And then you go out to the internet and you see it. And it's there. It's like, oh, shit. Right? See, a struggling. But tons of illustrators tell me putting stuff at 100 to 150, you're destroying the market for not putting each at 500. Dude, man, that's them. That's them. You're trying to make it out here, dude. You got to do what's, you got to, you got to act in your own objective self-interest. Right? The people who are saying that stuff are, are limited mindset people. Come on, let me ask you this: Are they where you want to be? Right? Do they make? Are they? Do they make the kind of money you want to make? Are they wealthy? You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, nah. There's different strokes for different folks. You go down the road and buy a thousand dollar car that drives just the same, right? It may not ride as smooth. It may not look as nice on the inside. But it'll get you. It'll it'll take you from your house to your job the same as a a five hundred thousand dollar car, or a million dollar car. Same. Different strokes for different folks, right? The person who will buy a million dollar car will never buy a thousand dollar car, and the person who buys a thousand dollar car will never buy a million dollar car. But it's it's not because they can't. It's because they 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 t it's because of the stories they tell themselves. I had I had somebody come in. When I was selling cars, man, they roll up in here trying to buy a car. And this happens all the time, man. All the time. Right? Your money that you make and and, and people who, who've never tried to sell something on their own, they can't really understand this. Like it doesn't make any sense to them. And a lot of people try to come into the conversation and they don't know what the hell they're talking about. They're full of like they they just on some other some whole other stuff, man. That is not based in reality, right? And 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 not even they haven't even taken the time to think it through. It's one thing to have somebody who's like really thought through something and they understand it and then they present their argument. But then you have people who are just like, ah, you know, whatever. But somebody came in to buy a car, right? Because I, I would have people come in and tell me, oh, man, you make tons of money selling cars. I say, no, I don't. I'll say, oh, yeah, you do. I say, no, I don't. I don't make a lot of money. I'm talking to you about buying this twelve thousand dollar car here and I'm going to make a hundred bucks. Oh, no, you got to make more money than that. They do. How the hell are you going to tell me? Right. People don't know, man. Right. They think they do, but they don't. Right. You know what I'm saying? So. So. So buying cars. Right. Like somebody comes in, they come in to buy a car. And it's like their payment. They, they're looking for this payment that makes absolutely no sense. You know what I'm saying? Well, it's not not absolutely no sense. But you're buying a You're buying. You're buying. A, you're buying a nine thousand dollar car, ten thousand dollar car. 
The dealership bought the car for five, and it sat on the lot. They bought it using, like, borrowed money or something like that. It sat on the lot for a year and a half. You know what I'm saying? So now... So now they're so now they're they they've spent seven thousand dollars on this car, and they're trying to sell it, trying to sell it. Thing if they got it on sale for nine grand, somebody shows up they're like, yo, we'll 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 buy it for eight, and the dealer's like, okay, and then they're like, oh well, you know, well we don't want to pay eight, we want to pay seven thousand five hundred, right? And so people will talk will talk you down, right? But and they have no knowledge about how any of this stuff works, right? They they're there with no money in their pocket. They're gonna take a loan from the bank. And they're trying to negotiate the price of the vehicle. You know what I'm saying? And there's a bunch of stuff you don't know. Right? I, I tell, I used to, I, I, you know, I, at one point I would tell people, I would say, hey, look, man, the rate that you get from these guys here, it could be lower or higher from your bank. So what you should do is you should go to your bank and see what kind of rate your bank is going to give you. Because here's the deal, man. Right? Dealerships, at least in the state of Washington, they can, tr- they can add percentage points to whatever the ba- – so – if you come in and your bank says say they're going to give you 4% interest rate on a new car. The dealership can call the bank and the bank can get the bank will give the dealership 1%. Oh, well, we'll give them an interest rate of 1%. We'll give you if you can convince them to buy this car, right? We'll give them an interest rate of 1% and you can tack on whatever percentage point you want. So what happens, right? Right? Is is the bank gives you this rate and then the dealership gets the difference, right? So whatever you're willing to pay, the dealership gets the difference right there. So, so, right? You your bank told you you're gonna get four percent. The dealership calls the bank. The deal the bank says, hey, look, right? We're gonna we'll we'll go as low as one percent. The dealership goes, okay, we'll we'll charge them three point five percent, and then we'll give you your one percent, and we'll keep the other three. And the bank goes, okay. And that's how it goes down. And then you go in and you buy your car. Right? And so I would tell people, I'd say, hey, look, man, call your bank. Right? Some people, they knew it all. They just knew too much. Right? You know what I'm saying? And, and they come in and they tell, they tell you, they tell you how, to, how, how you're doing. They tell you what, what you know, team. Nah, man. And so I got this lady in there. She's looking at this car. And it's like her payment is going to be $20 or more per, $20 more per month. And I'm talking to I'm saying and I'm broke at the time, right? You know what I'm saying? I'm talking I'm saying, look, right? If you think like this, like if twenty dollars a month is the difference between you you having a car, the car you want and just the car you can get, like you got way bigger problems than not having that extra twenty dollars a month. Like there's there's something com- that you like completely wrong. And then she got mad at me, right? And of course I can understand she gets mad. She goes, I love my job. I love what I do. Right? I commute every day. So she's driving two hours every day to bake bread in Seattle because she loves her job. And, like, I'm, I'm like, dude, like, this is why people get what they get. You can bake bread anywhere. What the hell are you going to Seattle for? You, you're coming in here to buy a car that you can't afford so you can drive to a job that barely pays you. And and at the end of the month, after you pay all your bills, you don't have you don't have twenty dollars left over that 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 doesn't make any sense man i'm here for people like that to free your minds why keep working at the bakery there's bakeries everywhere right if they aren't paying you enough to work there and you're going all the way to seattle you could go work at safeway and bake cakes make the same amount of money and not have to drive two hours and not have to buy a whole nother car you can go bake cookies at the McDonald's and make the same amount of money. What's so special about this bakery? Like you love the people there? Come on, man. Are you serious? Like, hey, have these people help you buy a car. Have them come pick you up. But no. No, team, right? We put ourselves in these crazy situations. And I, I do it too. I've done it too, man. I've done it too. Right? But she was in the situation where she believed she could never make more money. It's like this is all I, like, this is all I can ever afford right here. Bro, like, why would you even think that? How did the person who owns the bakery got the bakery? You know what I'm saying? And you, don't be mad at me. Dude, I'm trying to sell cars here. I put a price on the car. That's what I want to sell it for. Right? I'm not. I'm, we, we make up the prices. Yeah, of course. But not every car is a smash deal. Like, not every car. But we, I've sold cars and lost. I've sold cars and the dealership has lost money and still paid me a commission. 
Because that was the agreement. You sell this car, you get a hundred dollar commission, at least. So car dealership lost a thousand dollars. Then they pay me a hundred bucks on top of that, right? And, oh, and, and and if I and if I've sold, let's say for instance, I could I could sell I could sell thirty cars in a month, and the commission the commission goes up each time. So I could sell thirty cars at a loss, and and, and make more money based on the agreement we have. Like the dealerships got to pay me because that's the agreement, right? At least a hundred bucks. At least a hundred bucks, and then if I sold, you know, fifteen or more cars, then I get another. Well, every it's like eight cars, more than eight cars, you get an additional twenty five percent. So your hundred bucks turns into one twenty five. You know, so, so stuff like that, man. But you got to do it. Or you got to sell the cars. You know what I'm saying? But that, but that's that's the agreement. The point, the point is in all of this team, right? It's like you got to just put yourself out there, and you got to do the work every day, right? And and you're gonna. You don't know what the right answer is. You don't know what the wrong answer is. You don't know what the right move is. You don't know what the wrong. You just don't know. You don't know until you start doing. You don't know who's going to watch your videos until you start making videos. You don't know what kind of people are going to watch them, right? You don't know. You, I mean, people out here trying to get jobs as web developers, they they don't want to build websites. They can't build a, they can't build their portfolio site, or they build their portfolio site and then they don't think through the pro. Like, why would somebody hire me? Why would they come out and hire me, team? Gregory Powers, what's up? It's going good, team, man. We just had a fantastic, fantastic discussion about um, Chris Doe and Umesh of of Pixma Perfect. Umesh has got 1.53 million subscribers, growing every day. Chris Doe from the Future, he's got uh, he's got one channel, the Future dot the Future Academy, 72,000 subscribers. He got another channel, the Future, 6,000. I mean, 612 subscribers. Um. And Chris runs a successful business, and he has this interview with. I, and if you if you've ever looked for a Photoshop tutorial, you've seen Un, you've seen Umesh before. And um, he's interviewing Umesh. He says like, "How did you get started?" And Umesh is like, "Hey man, I told myself like, you know, I'm gonna do a hundred videos to see to see how it goes, and um, and that's it. I'm just doing hundred videos." He started his channel, zero followers, zero subscribers, zero anything. Produced a video, nobody watch. Another video, nobody watch. Another video, nobody watch. Another video, you know, a few people, right? And he just kept producing videos. He just kept doing it over and over and over again. And over three, over the last three years, I don't even know if it's the last three years. He just the first, the oldest video I could find in his channel is three years old. But in that time frame, he's 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 grew his channel to 1.5 million subscribers. And and if you understand the ad revenue, you can get like now subscribers doesn't matter right like subscribers are cool because you get an award when you get subscribers but it's the views that matter right so the more views you have the better the 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 more money you can potentially make from adsense but you don't make a lot of money so it's like for a thousand views you get like two bucks or something like that right and it depends on your channel and who wants to advertise on your channel and what they're paying to advertise and when I say advertise on your channel, I'm not talking about like somebody comes to you and they're like, hey, right, can you talk about my product in your channel? I'm talking about the ad that plays before your video starts, during your video, and at the end of your, that, like any ad that plays during like the person's video. So it, when you get 1.5 million subscribers, like typically when you put out a video, a fifth of those people, right, maybe not even a fifth, you're probably looking at like maybe 10% would be like a more reasonable number. But 10% of those people are going to watch your videos, maybe, right? I would say maybe between 3 three, three and 5% is probably going to be the average. But even if you start there, right, if you go Windows Calc, and some people are thinking, hey, I need to go start a YouTube channel. Now, you don't need to go start. You need to figure out who you are and what you're supposed to do. Because this conversation that they have is based on their gifts and their skill sets. And Unmesh, he's 23 years old. He gave the best explanation of this I've ever heard. He says your gift is something that, you, that you're good at. Like you, it just, it's a natural talent. And you can make it better, right? But then you have a, you have a, um, you have a skill, right? And this skill could be, like typically you're not, and I, and I think I mentioned this in a, in a, in a different show. You're typically not good at your skill. Like you're okay. You're not the best. You're not the best, but um, you're not the worst at your skill. And so, if you can combine your gift with your skill, like that'll get you to where you want to go. Like that'll carry you. 
But in addition to that, you have to be you have to be you have to do the work consistently. And that's what Umesh is saying. Like he uploaded he st- when he started out, it, it was a video like every three days, like three videos a week or something like that. And then he went to like a video a day. Chris Doe was like, I've never done a video a day. Right. Chris is at 600,000 subscribers and Umesh is at 1.5 million. Right. And I, you know, I mean, it, it to each his own. Right. Some people are, hey, like they can do a video a day. Some people can't. Some people don't want to. It's not their thing. Some people only want to do a video once a month. And that's cool. You can do that. Right. But. If you want to grow, like, I mean, there's different things you can do, right? It's all about how much you pour into it. And the only way you're going to go out and you're going to study the metrics and you're going to learn how to make the titles and the thumbnails and do all this stuff is, is if you have a vision that is bigger than, um, that's bigger than, than just subscribers or view count or money even, like dollar bills, right? Like, I got, I got no trouble telling people like, hey, I want to make money. I want, hey, come buy the hat. Come join the Code 365 Startup Lab. Because nobody does that. Like, everybody wants to get paid, but nobody wants to say, I want to make money. It doesn't make any sense. I want to be a freelancer, but I don't, I don't want to tell people what I charge because they might run away. Dude, you want people to run away as fast as possible so they don't waste your time. We know people will waste your time. We don't want them to waste our time, but we don't want them to run away. Right? We want to convince them. I'm telling you, man, you spend your time convincing somebody to buy something, right? Most people will make your lives miserable. You just got to let them go, right? The people who come in and just buy a car, right, who listen to what I say, I never hear from them, ever. Never heard from them. Dude, they're just happy. I call. I used to call I used to call all my customers once a month. Call them up. They're happy. They got nothing to say, right? The person who came in and sat there for eight hours, it was like, I want, and, and you know, like, they got no down payment. They got no leverage at all. Right, they just want to grind you on the price and on the payment and all, and then they want you to throw in free stuff. They want, hey, I want some floor mats, or some air conditioning, whatever, team. And you're there, you're in this situation, like, dude, I've I've spent six hours with this person, right? I might as well get my hundred bucks, right? So you just drive on, and if you get too frustrated, you go get another salesman. You have the other salesman take over, and you split the hundred bucks with them. You get fifty, they get fifty. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Gregory, all right, y'all, I'll watch this later. He's got to go. He's got to go sell a car. <laughs> hey, dig it, team. So, so, so we're the, we're, uh, man, I forgot, man, Gregory, he got, he killed me, he killed me with that statement, bro. He killed me with the statement. I forget what I was even talking about. Let's go back to Unmesh and his 1.5 thousand subscribers. But that's what we're talking about, man. Basically, we're talking about showing up every day, getting after it, um, and not being afraid, and not listening to what the other, what the world, world, world has to say. You can't be afraid, man. You just got to go out there and do it. Like I said, you got to have an original idea and then somebody come and sue you. Right? You could, you, could, you could steal somebody else's idea and get rich and nothing will ever happen. Like, you just don't, we just don't know. But we let, we let this stuff hold us up. So, look, if he's got 1.515, one do, 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 see, 1500000. One point five million. We divide this by a thousand. Let's just divide it by divide it by. And it's not even that much, man. Like I think two dollars per thousand is a lot because I got three hundred forty-eight thousand views. Not all of my videos are monetized, but the, but across those three hundred forty-eight thousand views, I've only made like two hundred bucks. So it's not. I don't know, but hey, hey, we can say. What if it's just a dollar? You know what I'm saying? So when you go out. So you got 1.5 million subscribers, like three to five percent. So we will go to low number. So we will go times, times, point zero three percent. So it's for, so you get forty. So you you should average about forty five thousand views per video. And if you look at his channel, which is where is it at? Right up the, now. These are the older videos. If we go back to like the regular channel. You can see that like the the he's averaging somewhere around there. Let's go back if we go sort by uh date added. I mean date added newest. All right, so like astronomical, right? 197, 59, 49, 77, 67, right? So you can I mean we can look at these and we can see just about what's going down. And then but if you and if you're into YouTube, like you can look at the metrics in the back, right? A lot of these viewers are probably not his subscribers, right? They're probably just 
Like he'll put it like and you can see like some content like is more popular than others. You know what I'm saying? But typically, if you got that many viewers, right, 1.5 million, right, when you put out a video, you're looking at at least right up front, first couple of days, first week or so, probably about 3% of those people are going to watch your video. So you got 45,000 views right there. And if we go 2,000, if you go $2 per view, right, you're going to make 85 bucks every time you produce a video, something like that. So you produce 10 videos in a month, make 85 bucks per video, right, you're making some money. But you got to do that, right? And then you and then you make residual income off of all your old videos that people are still advertising on. So you're making money off this content that's already been produced way back when. So your monthly view count goes up. But the only way to do that is to have videos. Like I'll I'll be on the internet and people are like, How do I start a YouTube channel? Like, dude, you 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 get a camera and you record yourself. <laughs> like what do you want to put on YouTube? Like, record that and put it on YouTube. That's how you start a YouTube channel. Like, you don't need stuff. You don't need fancy stuff. Right? It's like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, building web pages, progressive web apps, all that stuff. You don't need a bunch of fancy stuff, team. You just need an idea, purpose, direction, motivation, and the will to act. And and you can't have fear. Because fear is false evidence appearing real. Right? You don't know what it's going to be until you start being it. Right? Just the one young woman... Living in the van, boom, takes over the internet. Yeah, you've seen it, three polygons, right? The van woman, the van woman. And people look at that stuff and they hate, or they go, I can't do it. Here's the deal, right? In racist, in racist America, in racist America, a, 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 a black woman living in the van can literally, she, like, look at her channel, man, like, it's crazy, Right? She's at, she she went she went from zero to over a million subscribers in less than a month. The media will tell you one thing, but reality is a completely different thing. Now, and some people will say, well, YouTube YouTube gave her a boost. YouTube the algorithm helped her out. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know, team. Right? There's some success leaves clues. Success leaves clues. That's all I can say, right? Like maybe maybe that's the case. And you know what? If the case is that YouTube gave her a boost, what can we do about it? There's nothing we can do about that, man. YouTube is going to do what YouTube does. We could go to some other platform. Or we can study the content and see, hey, can we mimic what she did? And maybe YouTube will give us a boost, too. That's the world. That's the way the world works, man. Stuff ain't fair all the time, man. Right? This is, hey, I'm saying, hey, I'm here to motivate people to make the world a better place. Right? If YouTube is out there jacking people around, or clients are being crappy, or businesses are being garbage, right? Like, there's people out here who, like, I hate corporations, and they go to work at a corporation every day. Like, dude, like, you're living, you're living an incongruent life. You're probably going to get cancer and die. Because you aren't, you aren't incongruent. You're doing the thing you hate. I hate, I, like... Bro, man, it's crazy. Like, I don't even listen to... I, I listen to hip-hop from time to time. I don't listen to the stuff I used to listen to, man. I used to listen to Young Jeezy and all this stuff, man. I don't listen to that stuff no more, bro. Because how can I want it to go away if I listen to it every day? How can I want people to stop being shot, killed, and murdered in the streets? If I if that's the music that I listen to. That the people who make it, I give them money. Like, I know better, right? But there's some little kid, he's got nothing, man. He doesn't know no better. He gets that album. He thinks that he, it's reality. It's his reality. So they go live that. They go do that stuff. So I stay. I stay away from that stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? So you got to stay away from that stuff. You got to stay away from that negativity, man. Let's see. So she had real value in her. Obviously, two million. Two million are too much to owe it just to the algorithm. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know, right? Like, I'm a. I'm a. I'm a stoic. You know, like, hey, maybe she got a boost, maybe she didn't. Doesn't matter to me. It has nothing to do with me, right? It, everything to do with her. Now, if I want her success, all I can do is look at what I can see and I can make my own decisions, right? So, I mean, and nobody's ever done it before. I mean, maybe van life is a big trend. She's not the first person to get, like, like, if we go out and we look, like, she just, she's just, um, I mean, she did it so fast, and somebody was watching, and somebody was watching who had a following. So when they say something, like, it goes like, hey, man, you know what I'm saying? But there's a bunch of Van Life videos. 
Now, it's, it's interesting, right? You know what I'm saying? That that some people don't have that same kind of takeoff angle as she had, considering, like, she doesn't show any of the stuff about how she built this van. Like, I mean, it's like she has videos. It, I mean, there's just some inconsistencies here. Like, she's got to, and again, right? It doesn't it doesn't matter too much. It doesn't matter too much. But I can see where people are drawing it. It doesn't matter to me. But I can see where people are drawing these conclusions. Because you got this woman who gets a van, and she starts living in this van. She says she's living in it for two years. And she shows a video of her, of the van before she made the conversion. But there's no videos of the actual conversion happening. So I think that's kind of weird. Like, so she had a plan to tell us this story, but she didn't walk us through the story. Like, she had the foresight to shoot a video two years ago when she first got the van. Right? And apparently she knew that at some point she was going to go on YouTube and, like, talk about this van life. But she didn't have the foresight to record her converting the van. Like, so, I mean, that, like, those are suspect things. And then you have people out here who are doing it. Like, they're, they're, they're making these complete conversions. They're showing you how they do everything, and then they don't get the same takeoff angle. But it could be a number of things. It could be the title. It could be the tags. It could be whatever. Right? So, there's no way to reach any conclusion unless I do, unless you do, me or you or whoever does some sort of exhaustive analysis. And there's some people out here who say they had, and they say she she was assisted or whatever, and maybe she was. I don't know. It doesn't matter, right? I could I could brood over her being assisted in the YouTube algorithm, or I can get my ass online and make videos every day, and I can I can look at what her video I can. Hey, look, don't don't be fooled, team. I wasn't even gonna talk about this, but this is what I do, man. Look, I'm over. I'm not I'm not watching the van life video because I care about. I want to go live in a van. I think it's cool. Right. I, th- I want to see how she's doing it, like how she's living. But team, I come over here and I'm like, hey, right. Japanese RV tour. Right. Look at the title. Title's very small. Casey Neistat did the same thing. Right. And then we go over here and we look at these tags. Right. And they're very specific tags. So there's a possibility that she just was smart about this whole thing. Right. We don't know what she does. She could be a fucking computer scientist. She probably is. Right? She She's very eclectic. Extremely intelligent, obviously. Right? She's on a mission. She's got a goal. Right? It's the, I'm not just living in this van to just live in this van. Like, she's like, I want to, she's going to drive this thing probably around the world at some point. So, I wouldn't be surprised if she was, if she would, if she would, if she would, if she I wouldn't be surprised if we found out she works in the tech industry. And she may have said it in one of these videos already. She works in the tech industry. And she's an analytical person. And not even just an analytical person. Like, she's some super genius or something, right? Right? She's like, I want... There's a lifestyle that I want. And then she just goes out and she looks around. And she's like, okay, this is what people are... And we can all do this. But a lot of people don't want to do it. Right? And then they don't want to make the videos. They don't want to do the work. Tupac was the real deal. (laughs) Hey. Maybe he was, maybe he wasn't. I don't know. I don't know. Tupac, if you go back and watch some of Tupac's old interviews, he says some very suspect things, right? He said he says some contradict some contradictory things. Contradict like that's what I look contradictory stuff, man. Contradictory stuff. It's so sad that ex that that this rapper was shot the other day. It's terrible. You know what I'm saying? Like, right? We need to stop the violence. You know, we need we need we need prison reform. We need all right. So you're talking the good game, and then your next album comes out. It's like, yo, let's smash these tricks, right? You roll up on my block, and I'll blow your brains out. Like, this. <laughs> like it's incongruence, man. Very incongruent stuff. Uh, she said she was thinking the operation while working at her company, so she could be planning it carefully. Just did not show the process. Well, as you say, who knows? But she made it, yeah, it doesn't even matter, bro. Right. She's what matters is that she started. If we take anything away from her, because there's people who are going to look at this and analyze it. Right. They're going to show up. They're going to give their two cents. Right. And they're going to be they're going to be they're going to be a part of the of the the great masses of faceless icons. Right. (laughs) Right. And people who have something to say, but they got no face. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I understand you don't want to show your face. You know what I'm saying? But most trolls, they're faceless. You know what I'm saying? And, And they'll talk all kinds of smack. And it's like, you could do the same thing if you just started. But they don't start. And that's why they get what they get. I'm your biggest fan of the Real Casadero team. I don't know if I'll be back this afternoon to do an afternoon one. 
hey team, if you really want an afternoon show, you want to come hang out with me again, team, shoot me an email, therealcasadero at therealcasadero.com. If you want to support the channel, you know what to do. Check out rightcodedrinkcoffee.com where you can get swag and merch like this. You can also join the Code 365 Startup Lab for as little as 20 bucks a month. And I've got some exclusive content coming for you. The whole purpose of all of this stuff, right, is to free your mind, team. There's a whole world out there, and I see it coming. I see it changing. I see it changing. And jobs, they're going away. They're going away. The people who are going to make money are going to be the creators, the coders, the creators, the artists, the entrepreneurs, right? The people, the people who have patience and focus that are able to think through a process, those are, those are going to be the people. And, and everybody else, they're going to work for some big corporation behind some desk. They'll probably make a bunch of money, but their lives will be miserable. Miserable, team. Right? We're the same. You, you look different. Right? You're black. They're white. She's Chinese. He's, you know, Klingon, Vulcan, whatever. Right? But you all wear the same clothes. You all think the same thing. You all do the same stuff every day, team. And that's cool. Like, if that's the life you want to live, Fantastic. Fantastic. But there's a lot of people who don't want to live that life. We just had a fantastic example. She's working her job. She's like, yo, bro, I'm going to live in this van and I'm eventually drive around the world. How can I do that? Right? Like, she could quit her job right now. I guarantee it. Guaranteed. She's making more money from, from these videos, from this YouTube channel, than she is from her job. Right? And that's what she's going to do eventually. Right? And then it's just going to get even bigger because now she's going to be a black woman in her, living in her van, traveling all over the place, doing all kinds of cool stuff. And all the haters are going to pop up out the woodworks and talk all kinds of mad crazy. Yo, I got mad respect for everybody. Everybody out here, team. Right? Hey, you're a rapper. You rap about, you rap about, you rap about killing people and womanizing people. Hey, look, I got respect for you. Right? It takes a lot to get up on stage and do that thing like that. But that's not my thing. That's not my gift. So I don't rap about that kind of stuff, man. I don't do that. I come on, I make YouTube videos, and I try to inspire the people to get out here and get after it, team. Hey, yo, Neil Floyd, thank you, team. Thank you. Hey. One of the faceless, man. Hey, look. Hey, if it's working for you, it's working for you, bro. It's the way it is, team. You know what I'm saying? If it's working for you, I'm just saying, right? Like, hey, if you're out there and you're doing your thing, hey, one Syrian. One Syrian was hiding out, man. One of my, one of the, one of the OGs in the channel. Haters gonna hate. Exactly, team. Haters gonna hate. And the whole goal is to, is to put you in a fear mindset. So you don't make one video, and then when you do make it, you don't make number two, and number three, and number four, and number five. I don't get a lot of haters. Ever so often, you know what? I found out that I, <laughs> I found out that I do get haters. But YouTube has been protecting me, <laughs> cause I never, I never looked at, I never look at the blocked comments. And then I was, I was doing some stuff for Gregory, Gregory Powers, and I started looking, at, looking at these comments. I was like, oh man, there are some haters out here, bro. There are some haters out here. Hey, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Right? Hey, if somebody thinks I'm being dishonest about something, right? Like, hey, to, hey, it's your duty, obligation, and responsibility to tell the world to protect the people from me, right? You know what I'm saying? But but if, you, if you're just doing it out of jealousy, bro, like, nothing will ever come of it. It's like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. Never going to happen. Typically, they'll get stronger and you'll get weaker. That's why we have sick people in this world. And I'm not saying sick people like deranged. I'm talking about sick people like sick, like they like their body is sick. Like they got all kinds of diseases, man. They're not speaking their truth. They're not being honest with themselves. They're not being honest with the world around them. I mean, that's where this stuff comes from, man. That's where it comes from. That's why so many people get cancer, man, right? Because they go to work every day and they hate Karen. They hate Karen's guts, right? And I'm, that's just the name that I made up, right? You go to work every day. And you hate Shanika's guts. That this, uh, like these. Are <laughs> I know some. I know a carrot and a Shanika. I don't hate you guys at all. I'm just saying. Like these are examples, right? You go to work every day. You don't like these people, right? They smile in your face. You smile in their face every day. You know what I'm saying? You're telling lies. You're showing up to the office parties. You're hanging out with them. Like, come on, bro. Like, so you got to do one of two things, right? You got to you got to extricate yourself from that situation. I don't even know if that's the right word. Or you got to be real. Hey, look, hey, look, I don't, I, yeah, hey, nothing against you, but for whatever reason, you rubbed me the wrong way. Could you please stay away from me? <laughs> and that's it. And it hurts. It's, I mean, but hey, look, at least people know, man. At least people know. Because we all don't get along, man. Some people like oil. But hey, if you, if you, if you go, if you go, dude, if you go somewhere and you pretend for 20 years, 
Who are you at the end of that 20 years? You don't even know yourself. You didn't know yourself when you started. You damn sure don't know yourself when you get to the end. Bro, come on now. So check it out, team. Hey, hey, look, if you want an afternooner, afternooner. And I'll probably come back and do some code. Like I said, I got some more stuff that I put in the Code365 Startup Lab. But, hey, any questions, comments, concerns about anything, any ideas, any fantastic ideas, you want to get in the Code365 Startup Lab, you want to, whatever it is you want to do, team, right? You can email me. Whoa. Uh-oh. Hey, she's talking to me. Hey, you can email me, uh, therealcasadero at therealcasadero.com, team. Even if it's just to say thanks, right? I'm out here. I'm not saying I'm going to reply right away or anything like that. But, hey, I'm out here to help people, man. Right? And I'm selfish about it. I'll tell you straight up. Like, hey, look, man, I know that if I can help, right, we'll just start with a 1,000. If I can help a 1,000 people go from where they are to where they want to be, bro, I'll be okay. Right? And, and, and look, hey, you guys been on the channel. I answer as many questions as I can. You guys been in the Discord to answer the questions. You guys send me emails, right? I answer the emails, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to sell anybody anything on a regular basis, right? I tell you, you all the content that I produce, you go out on the internet, find it at W3 Schools, man. But if you want to support me, right, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, team, come on through. We can get down and we can get this in 2020. So it's the real Casadero at the realcasadero.com. Boom, boom. And so for you, for, for people who want to see the van lady, I'm going to put that up in here. Uh, the van lady. Very interesting stuff, man. Success leaves clues. You can you can learn from this stuff. The van lady. Where you got? The van lady. And then we, we'll put a link right here. Boom. All right. Her name is Janelle, I think. But I was being lazy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what have I done? I, I, have, I closed the wrong window, team. I think if I go back here, control shift T. Ah, so when you want to bring back a window you close, team, control shift T, we'll do it. It'll open up the tab you close too, just so you guys know. Control shift T at the same time is a lifesaver. So let me grab some more links for you guys. Uh, Let's see. Not that, not that. Blind. You guys can check this out. This is Chris Doe. Chris Doe's business. Chris Doe's business. Bam paste that up in there team and then what else we got up in here uh van life all right the future academy all right we'll grab that for you control c like if you're interested in art graphic design stuff like that you can learn a bunch of stuff here team a bunch of stuff i've learned a bunch of stuff man this is my cover art multiple logos icons all kinds of stuff man and uh, hey look and don't get don't get stuck don't don't get caught up in the rabbit hole man right the most important thing you can do is build your own stuff, right? That's how you're going to get better. If you get caught up in all these tutorials and these classes and stuff, you're never going to get there, man. Never going to get there. you get there. Man, maybe you'll get there eventually, but it's going to take you a significantly longer amount of time. And when you do get there, you're going to be like, shit, I should have started doing this stuff sooner. That's what happens to most people. They get to the old people get to the end of their life and they're like, shit, I should have did this sooner. I should have not have been afraid. I should have not have been afraid. Afraid of somebody stealing my stuff? I don't want to put my stuff on the internet because I'm afraid somebody's going to steal it? Like, come on. If, hey, if you if you walk around thinking the, the rest of the world is going to rob you, then you're probably going to get robbed more than most people. Ralph Smart, uh, I just got to, I'm going to get, hey, because I'm all about that spiritual, baby. I'm all about it. So, hey, check out Ralph. Ralph Smart, he's, um, Right, he's the, man, bro. I started following Ralph. I don't know how many subscribers he had, but like this was like years ago, man. He didn't have, he didn't have the 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 one point six four million subscribers he has now. And look, this video right here, four million views. Ten reasons you should never open your third eye. Maybe I'll make a video about that. Haha, <laughs> cause my third eye is open, team, and it's it's painful, man. You're gonna go through a bunch of stuff, cause the world ain't the world's not ready for the free thinker. The world is not ready for it. So sometimes you got to think freely in private. You got to keep your thoughts to yourself. There's a lot of people out there like that, man. They're out there. They're making tons of money. They're living their dream lives. You'll never see them on YouTube, Facebook, any kind of social media. Any kind of social media. But they'll be they'll like, bro, you probably bought their stuff. You're probably sitting on one of their chairs. You're probably like, who knows, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, But you'll never know. They move in silence. Hey, here, this is the masterpiece, though. This is the interview. Life-changing interview, team. Life changing interview and so for those of you who are just hanging out just lurking around team man i understand i get it i love you all man i just want everybody to win 
If I can, if I, hey, look, if I can help a thousand people win in 2020, surround myself with a thousand true friends, a thousand people who are like super cool, right? Because if I help you win, I know you're gonna you're gonna have mad love and respect for me, team. You'll buy whatever I sell you, right? So go out there, win, make some money, and then hey, then we can, you know, you come back and buy whatever you want. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, what it all boils down to, right, is we all got to be willing to, we got to we gotta have a path. We got to choose a path. We got to get on a path. We got to do the work. We got to show up every day consistently, team. And we can't be afraid to put ourselves out there, man. You got to tell people who you are, what you do, why you do it, how they can buy it. That's the path to success, right? And anybody who tells you otherwise, ask them, like, you know, what experience have you had? What's the evidence? You know what I'm saying? Like, and then you'll see, and then you'll know. Right. I'm not the end all be all. I'm just ba- I'm basing this on my experience, team. My experience and what I've learned along the way. Right? Three combat tours, all this stuff, bro. Like That's what I've learned, man. And there's been instances where I started going and like, bro, I've been gangbusters doing all kinds of dope stuff. And then I stop, man, get complacent, you know, whatever. Have a little fear. Right? Fear leads to lack of self confidence. And lack of self confidence leads you to taking what you can get instead of t- instead of going after what you deserve, team. All right, and that's that's what happens to a lot of a lot of people, man. A lot of people. So you got to be careful with that, man. You got to guard your mind. Guard your mind. We'll talk about that later on, team. I'm your biggest fan, the real Casadero. Thank you guys for hanging out with me here, team. You guys know what it is. At the very least, we'll be back here tomorrow morning. Um, and I'll probably drop something this afternoon. Come hang out with you guys again, team. But right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I'm going to dig a little deeper into some HTML5, team. Right? If you guys want to follow along on your own time, on your own terms, you just head over to W3 Schools and check out. Um, I am I'm producing tutorials on the HTML5 semantic structural elements, but but actually, so the, so that's the that's the main thing that I'm working on right now. But a core component of that is um is the HTML5 global attributes. These are attributes that can be used inside of any HTML tag. So if you look that up, man, it'll take you down this road of HTML5 that'll blow your mind. A bunch of cool stuff you could do. Like not a lot of people know this. Like when you open up the Google homepage, like I mean not Google, when you open up the YouTube homepage and you type in forward slash, it puts you right inside of the search bar. That's a feature that's built in the HTML5 that anybody can use. But a lot of people don't know it exists. So even when you go to you go to websites that are search centric, they have no hotkey to get to this button. So you so you put in the address, you hit enter and you get here and you have to go and you have to move your mouse and you have to click. But if you if you know what's going on, right, when you get to this page, it's like, hey man, I'm going to youtube.com and then it's forward slash boom. Ralph Smart. Boom. So that's the kind of stuff you learn, right? Right. There's a tutorial how to do it in JavaScript, all super long and complicated. You got to write five lines here. You got to link this to that. Do all this stuff, right, dude? This shit is built right into HTML. It's like right there, bro. Hey, for show. Sure, have a good one, team. It's your biggest fan, the real Casadero. Hey, I want you guys to get out there and get it, team. For those of you who are just starting your morning, hey, go get it, right? And I hope I didn't waste a lot of your time. Tomorrow, maybe we'll get this thing down to an hour. But sometimes we get to talk and we get going. All right, team, it's your biggest fan, The Real Casadero. What I'm trying to do is I'm looking for the screen so I can do my outro. Bam, here we go. All right, hold up. Where is it at? Okay, here we go. Bam, all right, team. Ha-ha.